Friday, May 15th. We're here again. Mm hmm. Uh, happy Monday to everybody. Man, it is Wednesday. Hey, man. I'm having a case of the Mondays over here. What about you guys? Anyone having a case of the Mondays? Every day. Monday, every day. Zach is back in the studio. Yeah. Who just sold out, played a sold out show at the Roxbury. Sure did. I saw some funny posts on the subreddit about people like, uh, where's everybody on Sunday? Yeah, people were showing up to the wrong venue. <laughs> people were showing up on the wrong date. They're like, I've been in line for 24 hours. No one's here. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why they're so confused. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. Um, <clears throat> my brother went to your show. Did you know that? I heard. Yeah, he went with uh, Jeremiah. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, today's episode is sponsored by Stamps.com. Thank you. We love them so much. And our members, who we love so much. Your brother was there? Yeah, I'll okay, get uh, one sec. And then, by the way, member. Yeah, he was. <laughs> what? And then, and then um, members will see that we put up an exclusive full crew reaction uh, to the Zach Lore video, part one. It's like 40 minutes long, but it's good. Check it out, members. Yeah, so... Um, Zach's big day was on a uh, Saturday. Yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and my brother, you know, is friends with Karen and Jeremiah. They moved here. That's how we met them. I didn't know that. Yes. Yeah, so oh, my brother used okay. to live in Vegas. Yeah. Yeah. His wife, Via, her best friend is Karen. I had no idea. Karen came to visit <clears throat> and then we were looking for an HR person. Right. And uh, so Ela and Karen started talking, and then uh, anyway, they worked it out. And so she moved here with her husband, Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. So then Jeremiah gets invited to Zach's show. Right. <laughs> and my brother is friends with Jeremiah, and he goes with <laughs> Jeremiah to Zach's show. Well, well Jer circle. Jeremiah was cool. He, he bought a ticket. I'm like, why did you, why did you buy a ticket? I would have added you, you know? He's a good man. No, he's a great fucking guy. He's the um, best. And um, he's like, can I get a plus one? I'm like, yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> <laughs> for my brother, you didn't even mention. <laughs> no, no, because I, you know, I thought it was for Karen or something. But um, no, I'm glad. I'm glad your brother came out. It was cool. Yeah, Say he, hi to any of us. My brother. I didn't know he was there. He's, I didn't know he was he's there. a strange duck. <laughs> I'll be honest, Zach. My brother hated it. Oh, did he? he could, not because of you. But someone kept blowing vape smoke in his eye. Oh, I saw that asshole. He was like right, right in the front. Yeah. <laughs> so, so my brother, he came over our house yesterday. We have all the family comes over on Sunday, and his his right eye is fucked. Oh no! I was like, bro, what happened to you? It looks like he has mad pink eye or something. Wait, from from vape smoke being blown? apparently oh, vape smoke. something happened at the show. <laughs> that fucked his eye up, and and his theory is that someone was blowing vape smoke in his eye. <laughs> there, there, there was a dude blowing vape. There was also a dude that was puffing on a doobie the whole show. Um, that's I, a good vibe, right? Or no? Um, yeah, weed smokers welcome. You know, that's absolutely. at every live show, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Um, but I don't know how would that have caused the. My brother, he's not. He, you know, it's like Jurassic Park. Life finds a way. <laughs> but he thought the music was great. But, well, at least he didn't have to see. You know, he could just hear it. Yeah. You know? But yeah, exact. There you go. Exactly. But uh, I thought that was really funny. That, yeah. I was like, "What happened to you, bro?" He's like, "I went to Zach's show." I was like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> Come get a uh, pink eye at Zach Lewis concert. So, uh, what you you all went right? How was the show, Zach? How was the show? It was absolutely amazing. Nice. Um, I want to thank everyone for coming out. Um, it was very surreal experience. There was some issue with people at the venue, but we <laughs> what? Tell me, I want the goss. Um, they weren't letting people in. <laughs> we almost didn't get it. We well, almost, they, yeah, everyone. Oh, well, you guys that, almost didn't get yeah, it. Yeah. Well, that's um, interesting. They were <laughs> on the priority guest list. Um, the venue kept fucking up with the guest list. Guest list for some reason. Um, I had was standing out there arguing with the guy. They weren't gonna let my uncle in. What the gonna, fuck? I the guy's like, if you wanna you wanna go play somewhere else, go play in your backyard. I'm like, are you fucking serious right now? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
What? He said, who go play in their backyard? Me, to me. He said, you go play in yeah, your backyard? Yeah, he's like, if you want to go play somewhere that's bigger, go play in your backyard. I'm like, are you fucking serious? I'm like, I, they, they're getting so much money from the fucking bar. Like, that's my name up on the marquee. Are you fucking serious? You're not going to let any of these people No respect? In. No respect. Well, None. what happened? Why was there, was it crowded? Was it packed? Oversold? Kind of, sort of, yeah. How do, they, how do you oversell a venue? I don't understand that. I remember, remember for the last month yeah, when Zach was price. like, just a few tickets left at the Roxy, just a few tickets <laughs> left, get your tickets. Okay, but... Well, apparently... But how do you... But they have a finite amount of tickets. Right. Mm -hmm. So how do they oversell them? I, I don't know specifically why they weren't <laughs> letting people in, especially on the guest list that were family, crew, friends, like priority people. So you, know? so you got, so you guys got in eventually. I, it was a we process, yeah. yeah. But it was like- it really, it, we got in after like 10 fair, minutes. It, it wasn't like a big deal. It was like maybe five minutes. Yeah. It was, but it was with totally. my uncle, they, my dad was out there arguing with them. They weren't gonna let my bass player's parents in. <laughs> they almost threw my dad out. Um, so was the guest list so. too extensive? Perhaps it, it was a combo of my people, other bands, people, because there, there were three acts total. That yeah, time. I heard you have two opening shows, dude. Yeah. I was like, well, okay. Um, yeah. Um, but my guy David got everyone in. I got to give a shout out to him. I don't know how he did it. I don't know how he got around him, but mm -hmm. how many people were on your guys's guest list? There was a total of like eighty people. <laughs> dude, <laughs> well, of course, no, but, eighty but people. I've been stand Wait, hold right. the fucking on. <laughs> How many? How, that's like a fifth of the whole venue. Well, here's the thing, though. We set aside a certain amount of tickets, and there was 25 <laughs> tickets we put aside. That's a lot case. less than 80, this bro. This was gonna happen. So we went to eat first. 80? Me and the, me and the rest of the crew. No, went what? Wait, hold on. No wonder they're like, "Yo, fuck <laughs> you guys. You're not." It doesn't matter though. They, but the it fire. Does. Yes, it does. You can't. You you can't. It's there. It's not Doctor Who's fucking telephone box. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's like fire code and shit. <laughs> fuck it. Sorry, Evie, go ahead. No, it's fine. I was just saying, we went to go eat first. We all went to Sail Ranch, and then we went there after. And so everyone else was kind of inside already. So outside was just us, the crew, and Gabe and his nephew standing there. And all the fans were already inside. They were kind of like peeking outside as we were trying to get in. <laughs> that is in. so funny. Yeah. Zach, that is so fucking funny. <laughs> I felt bad for Zach though, because like he had to come out and sort yeah, things out yeah. five minutes before he's supposed to hit the stage, so he's all stressed out. But thank you very much for getting us in, Zach. Yeah, it all worked out. It yeah, all it worked was out. fine, I dude. Was, yeah. That's I was, so funny, bro. I was like, uh, it's like, probably good it happened to us and not people that bought tickets and then weren't able to. get Well, they right. pro yeah, they probably letting people who bought tickets and everyone's like, yeah, I'm on the guest list. Like, yeah, you and everybody else, fuck <laughs> right. off. I'm too nice, man. I'm sorry, you know, like I. <laughs> It's like <laughs> eighty, dude. That is fucking. But it hilarious. wasn't. It wasn't just eighty people of mine. I know, but like, I know, I know, I know. That's yeah. awesome. That is the best thing ever. But it all got worked out. It got accommodated. <clears throat> so you've sold a packed ass motherfucking show. Oversold fucking show. Yeah. Supposedly. <laughs> That's inspiring, fan, man. There was a fan who got scammed and bought a fake ticket. Yeah, I felt so bad for that guy. Did he get in? No, he hey. didn't get in. How do you buy fit? How did that happen? I guess Poor he guy. got it from Reddit or something. <laughs> oh, and... this is him. Yeah. I saw the title, but I didn't understand. Like, he was the nice. You took a photo dude. with him. Yeah, because I was standing out there <laughs> trying to deal with whatever the fuck was going on. Um, and they're like, oh, they're not taking my tickets. And then my guy David is like, no, those are those are ticket web tickets. Those should work. But I guess they were. Can we hook him up with some, like, live show tickets? Yeah, I feel. We'll bad. just throw him on the guest list. Yeah, <laughs> let's put him on. Zip's our our next guest show. list is first come, first serve. Uh, yeah, it's a. It's just. I mean, do you, if we have a contact, um, we could see <coughs> to hook him up. Yeah, yeah, I guys, if you want to get on our guest list for the live show, just email Dan. I want to put everybody. <laughs> Shut on. the fuck up! Don't <laughs> say that. That's not real. Listen, we You're not getting on. Well, hold on. It's there's. Well, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> there's a hundred. There's fifteen hundred tickets to our live show, and according to Zach's math. We can do about um, like a fifth of that. A fifth, yeah, a fifth. So yeah. that's like that's at least like three three fifty people. <laughs> the guest list wasn't just friends and family. There were also people that had issues with tickets that had messaged me previously. Long stories. It wasn't just friends and family. So right. it's funny, man. It's best. So anyway, uh, it sounds like y'all had a great night. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Congrats, uh, Zach. Thank you. Probably the funniest thing that happened to me all night is right as we walked up. The first dude was like, yo, what's up, Dan? He wasn't there for the show. He wasn't there for the That's show. Funny. He just was walking down the street, 
right as we walked up. And then he like saw all of us. And he's like, what the fuck's going on? Why are you all here? And we're like, we're at Zach's show, aren't you? And he's like, no. I'm <laughs> That's funny. I love that. But um, circling back, everything got resolved. They came up to apologize to me at the end. Okay, good. Um, so everything's kosher. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, considering that, it's pretty incredible that they accommodated all that. Yeah. Zach, something cool happened to me on Saturday before your show, about yeah. your show. Oh. I was in a parking garage, and a girl noticed me in my car, and she put her window down, and she was like, I'm going to Zach's show tonight. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, that's amazing. See you there. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I still haven't been to the cattle, cattle ranch. It was the good. The cattle ranch. It's whatever. You, you like it, A.B.? You said it's good? Oh, yeah, it was really good. Yeah, I got prime rib. Oh, hell yeah, yeah brother. Sam's nodding yes to Saddle Ranch. They have truly one of the best steaks I've ever had. Are you serious right now? Yeah. It's really good. I was sipping. I still so want to do our Dave and drink. Buster's Saddle Ranch. We Yo, you know what's go. you know what's next to Saddle Ranch hmm. is Dobrix, right and that door. shit was fucking popping. I gotta say, there oh, were so many people, people there. Still eating that shit? Yep. <laughs> gotta gotta say, David's crushing it in the pizza game. <clears throat> wow. I was surprised. I was surprised how busy he was. The pizza looks good. Uh, it's, I'm not gonna it's, lie. Uh, I guess I don't know. It's okay. I mean, you wouldn't go there unless you were a fan of his, right? Why would you go eat there if you weren't? It's a great location. I don't think I don't think that's true at all. Actually. Really? It's right next to all of the clubs and stuff. Oh, right. Okay, Dobricks. Yeah. With each uh, purchase of pizza, you get a free a QR code to enter you to win a million dollars. Yeah. So, but, like, for real, though, <clears throat> we should, you guys want to do, like, a, we should do a Dave & Buster's Saddle Ranch party so my, my, this week. My drummer works yes. at Dave & Buster's, um, and he, we got the hook up there with some shit. What's the hookup at Dave & Buster's? I don't know. 10% off, bro. I'll pay for Let's stuff. Go, I don't think it's man. that expensive. I'll pay for it, you know? Uh, what do you mean by <clears throat> Dave & Buster's Saddle Ranch? Are they, are like, they not you, close? Or do we just go to Dave no. & Buster's? Yeah, no, they're not anywhere close together. They're not... Same city. They're both in Los Angeles. <laughs> it's probably like a 10-minute Uber. It's don't you think that'd be fun to do that and then go? Or should we just... 100% do both. Should we just... What do you think's better? Just all Dave & Buster's? I think all Dave & Buster's <clears> because their wings are crazy. Okay. I would rather eat at Dave & Buster's than Saddle Ranch, TBH. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> okay, okay, so people are saying... ride the bull over there. People are saying 620000 at Dave & Buster's. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we could get so many fucking tickets. Let's do that this week, you guys. I'm you get so many prize tickets. You, you really need to. I'll make the reservation right now. I just got to, I'm going to MSG then find one's the best night to do it. I've been wanting to do that with you guys. Nice. I'm, I'm just texting. Here, play some. So, uh, Zach, let your connect know we're coming through. <laughs> let him know, bro. Be ready. You got it. Get that. It would be nice Let's if we could reserve a room, like a party room or something, just so we could have a little... Or do we need that when we're eating? I'm going to be fucking gaming so hard, dude. I'm not going to be You'll be room. eating at the games. Yeah. Getting a beer tube. Right. Got like beard, like the hats with the crazy straws that come down. I want to go tonight. <laughs> I want to go right now. I didn't want to wait. the fucking show. I'm ready to go. Fuck the podcast. Let's go to DMV. See y'all. It's been real. Thanks for watching. What's the what kind of games do you like there? Because it's all kind of like uh, I'm just I'm being over the top. I, I don't know. It's just like normal arcade games, right? DDR. Are you, are you there for oh, the DDR? To win ticket? DDR. Mm. Are you there to win tickets? Or are you there to shoot demons? You know what I mean? Like, right. I guess you got to <clears throat> all the above. A Watch that demon, dude. Down. I'm bringing my switch if we go. I'm be honest. <laughs> I'll eat the wings and I'll just sit there and play my Switch. Mm -hmm. There's this basketball game that I could spend the whole night playing. Okay, that's what I like to hear. I want to. It's uh, Connect Four with basketballs. Dave and Buster's basketball. Yo, I'm gonna have to get a lot of quarters. I'm gonna, I'm gonna know, cover. I'm, wait, is I'm it? Pretty sure it's the <laughs> card system. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're we're past the days of the quarters. It's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm getting old. Uh, is that's it this sad, Sam though. or? A different one. Connect four. Mm, oh no, it's not that one. Normal. Uh, uh, is it a multiplayer game? Um. Yes. Yes. Connect four. Connect two. Two people. That looks. I don't know what it's called. On the left. That's top just, left. That picture. Is that just a slot machine? Uh, it, it looks kind of like that second picture. Maybe. Oh. 
Oh, okay. I think it's that. Okay. My balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Love that. Okay, we're in. But those aren't full size basketballs, are they? They're like little. I think they're full size. Oh, it is. Or... Okay, I guess it's a weird. They're not tiny. Just looks like a tiny little thing, but I guess maybe it's full size. <clears throat> you should try to reach out to this guy though. We'll put him on our guest list for. For uh, the live show. You know what I mean? Him and a lot of other people. Yeah, Everybody. We have we have some. I don't understand the issue with that. Bro, you can't you, add okay. an, an unlimited amount of people to I your guest list. Though. 80? That wasn't fully me, though. How many did you add? I know, but I you, don't know the exact count, but it was you guys, it was right, family. Right, right. There's it was one friends. There's one guest list, Zach. Right. It's your show. Right. I'm just wondering you don't how see many the issue? you put on there. Because that 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 makes a difference. Wait, but, if it's but it doesn't fault, really because it's Zach's show. There's one guest list. So it's you're a saying, finite space. Right. So Zach should have told like the openers that they can't put people on the guest list. Is that what you're saying? Well, there needs to be I don't know what's I don't know the the politics of it, but there needs to be some communication. I'm surprised the venue itself didn't say this is the amount of guest spots we're giving you. <laughs> right. No that's more. that's how it usually goes. Yeah. Dude, most people don't even have that many people at their wedding. <laughs> But we got in, so it doesn't. No, I'm just kidding. Do yeah. you not? You don't. Do you not understand where I'm coming from at all? No, I, I can see your point of view. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's awesome, though. It's so fun. I don't know 80 people. Right. I don't. Mm. I don't know. But it's very nice. <clears throat> Cliff Diver King says, Thanks to Zach for having me on the list. <laughs> <laughs> he had fun. Cliff Diver King. Who else was on Zach's guest list uh, out there in the audience? <clears throat> you know, there were also people, like I said, that messaged me saying that they might have a trouble with their tickets or whatever it may be. We looked into it and we just we just comped them. So. Sorry, Fuego says I had so much fun. Thanks, Zach, for putting me on the guest list. Nice. <laughs> so we, people who pay for VIP, Zach, could be in that section, right, with us. Correct. That was, okay. Yeah. My parents were there. They were on Zach's guest list. <laughs> Don and Gary. Yeah, they were oh, there. Wow. Guess the, he I guessed the drama. <laughs> said hi. Kevin, you fuck. I didn't even have to read this to know you're full of shit. Ethan, it's your nemesis. I'll take a spot on the guest list. <laughs> Don't Dumbass. ask. Not sure about that one, Kevin. Maybe Zach's guest list. When we got there, we got there at the same time as Gabe and Nick Nick. And Gabe was on the list, but Nick Nick got the... Nope. You, <laughs> not you. Oh, bro. But he got in eventually, too. All right, well, that's nice. They, they accommodated. Dude, Zach's brother tried to pull the robbery on Lena. Got Lena inside, and then I could not find her anywhere. Just Damn, to use, you got just, just to use the bathroom. <laughs> did, but he then, run, did he run off with your wife? No, she had to use the bathroom, and then uh, he got her in just for that. But then Zach's dad's like, oh, Lena, he's a big fan of you. Can I get a picture of you guys together? Oh, come like, Damn, on. This is Todd a is family so effort right now. <laughs> Todd is such a weirdo. Okay, but the, I guess, should I explain the context of that? I think we have before that. That your your brother, I don't know how to say it, he likes her. That makes it sound like he's like a child, but I guess he's... <laughs> but yeah. he likes her, right? He thinks... I don't, you want to explain He crushes on her a little bit, but he's a very respectful, nice guy. We yeah. love Jared. All Lena's Jared's a beautiful lady. So, to, so Todd, the Todd and Tuck, Zach's dad, he goes... And this, this is funny, because I've met Todd. <laughs> So he corners Lena and Zach's brother and says, yo, he loves you. Let's take a photo together. I, I wouldn't say cornered, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Zach, Zach's dad is respectfully added. such a character. No, but he's, Todd's the man. He came out and he was trying to get us all in whenever we were locked in front. He kept coming out and like <laughs> fighting with all the security, trying to get everybody inside. That sounds like quite a night. It was fun. Yeah, it was very fun. Anyone else get pink eye? No. No. Okay. No, Only one no. case of uh, one case. pink eye. I tried. I tried. <laughs> Congrats, Zach. Thank you. I just it, it was an exceptional night, and um, it was it was just unreal. It was just fucking unreal. Uh, Carol Rob says I was at Zach's show. It was my birthday. I made you all sign a hundred dollar bill. P.S. Thanks for getting me on the guest list. Uh, she didn't say that. Uh, <laughs> I I remember that. I remember thinking like. Aren't you a hundred dollars is like a lot? You're yeah, like you're gonna want on. that. You're gonna want that hundred. Was that a real hundred dollar bill? Uh, yeah, 
That's I mean, it's a insane. crime. I assume so. It's a crime. Yeah, Carol, you've been reported. E- FBI. You you guys did, Carol. All of you guys are complicit. I would never do such a <laughs> thing. <laughs> right. Right. You only abide by all laws. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Zach. Zach's manager was telling me that Zach is the first artist to sell out all three of those venues in like, I forget how long it was. Do you, do you know Zach? It was like a little, little over a year. It was about a year and a half. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Wow. That's yeah. great. Yeah. What a, what the, what a guy, man. Mm. Zach, Zach Lewis live. Thank you. Yes. It was, it was awesome. So, uh, <clears throat> moving on a little bit here. Um, I do want to say, Briefly here, this is my this is my baby. This is my uh, uh, I guess we don't have more pictures. Maybe we can get more pictures, Sam. You want more? Yeah, I don't know if there's any like of these lifestyles I could show. I can put a gallery together for <coughs> you. If you want. That'd be great. Okay. This is our classics. <laughs> This is our classics collection, okay? Now, there's a whole story here, okay? You want to show, AB's wearing it too. Looking really good. I didn't realize we were doing this. I got one as well. You do? So it's black. Oh, you know, it's, it's already okay. so You're dark. Good. You're not gonna be able to see it, but. Yeah, so <clears throat> here's, the, here's the story. So when, the in, when inflation started hitting and post COVID and the price, you, Biden. the prices of everything was going crazy. Inflation, shipping, the price of cotton went up like 10 times. And, you know, it was obvious that as we were forced to raise our prices, that it was becoming more and more difficult for people to afford to buy our stuff. And so we had this idea. What if we, instead of raising our prices, as our cost of goods is increasing, that we lower our prices to create an opportunity for our audience and anyone else who wants to wear great stuff to be able to afford this stuff in the the climate where the prices are going up so much. And so started this project where we sourced, we started with the best, the nicest fleece that we use. And we pared it down to its most basic form. It's lightweight, it's it's beautiful, it's cozy, it's comfy. It's got one patch, it's simple as possible. And then, once we got the price down as much as possible, then we took it a step further and just ate in way into our margin to bring about an affordable, super high quality collection you know what I mean? That so that everybody can still consume what in my opinion is a luxury luxury goods here. And the prices are gonna blow you guys away. I hope. I hope. We're gonna pay you to take this off our hands. You're on my guest list. Thirty dollars a piece. <laughs> We're gonna pay you thirty dollars to wear this. It's not quite that good. Oh Dan, no. But people in the company, they says it's you're not gonna be able to get the it down to that much price. They said you can't do it. It's they, it's mad. It's just alone. I'm not even kidding. They told me that, and I said, Dan, you think I'm kidding? I just can't believe it. People, the, our head of finance says that's not a reasonable, that's not a realistic goal. Have the owners lost their minds? So <laughs> actually, I don't I don't want to misspeak on the prices, but I think, for example, and, and what AB, when you saw it on the rack, what did you say? I said, I'm sorry, but I want one of. Every single one of these. You well, when I told you the theory on our collection, you said I thought these were more expensive. Yeah, I thought they were more expensive. Yeah. Dab me up, brother. Reminds me of the like uh, <laughs> essentials, uh, fear of God. But honestly, mm-hmm. quality seems a little it's bit better. better. If I'm being honest, it is. It is better. The quality is stunning. And so this is coming out on Thursday, right, Sam? The 18th. The 18th. That's yeah, Thursday. Or the. Are the hoodies with the little barriers that yes. Olivia's wearing? It's all part, part of, of we have a whole too? line. Okay. So I was got, wearing that the other day, too. Oh, okay. People asking about it. So we've got, like, the crew neck, the hoodie, the zips, the bear ears. They're super shorts, cozy. And, and long, super. Uh, long uh, 
hands. I'm about to drop the gallery. Just oh, thank you so much. So I'm very excited about this. You know, I, I, I it's a passion project, and I, I think it's um. This is like a line that's going to hopefully live on our website where everybody can uh, enjoy it and partake in it. Fine. We're going to be continuing doing our normal collections and stuff. Are line. you not allowed to say the price yet? No, I just don't want to misspeak. Oh, you don't I don't know. remember the exact price. Got it, got it, got it. Because it was always moving around a little bit as we we're kind of trying to, to get as low as possible. The right. line. I know some of the pricing and it's very fair. How much is this crew neck? Do I don't know. I don't know specifics. I know kind of like a range. But I think, for example, I think the <laughs> women's tee is like 20 bucks. That, that's it. Yeah. This crew wow. neck, I think, is 50 bucks or 55. I don't remember which. Women be shopping, baby. <laughs> you don't think so? I think it's. Oh, I was just saying I'm not sure. I think it's 50 to 50 bucks. 50 to 55 bucks for the crew neck. So, yeah, and we're selling shirts for. 20 or 25? Anyway, we'll, you, we'll see. We'll see. Like I said, I don't I don't want to misspeak. I dropped a link right under. Thank you. Yeah. So I'm very excited about this. Uh, check it out. The colors are really awesome. Earthy tones. I love this purple. The hats. We've got a hat in the collection. Everything. Gotcha. You guys are going to be stunned <laughs> by the prices here. Shorts. I'm so excited. I am so excited. Oh, this is all unisex coming out tomorrow. Then we have women's specific stuff coming out shortly after. But this is all unisex, so. We are women, we are men. Mm-hmm. So, uh, socks. Socks are included, so I'm super, I'm super pumped. Hell yeah. Sick. Thank you. Freaking That's it. Sick. Yeah, thank you guys. Mm-hmm. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. People, yeah, I knew you guys would like the uh, the bear ears. Love it. Hell yes. There there are some hoodies without the ears though, right? Yeah, there's a zip there's up. Both. And, okay. Exactly. Exactly. I wrestled the bear. <laughs> nice to have you back on the soundboard, Zach. We had fun thank in you. your absence, but we are we connect on a spiritual level. You bring a Absolutely. you bring a certain X factor. <laughs> Je ne sais quoi. Yes, I mean game, that's what maybe. I wanted to say, but I Je ne sais quoi. How can you say that correctly? But <coughs> like anything else, Je ne sais quoi. <laughs> Je ne sais. Quoi. Well, don't you know? It's because of Babel. Ah, right. Ah, ah yes, of course. Ah, of course. Oui. Yes, it, Ian was tutoring. It's good to be back. Yeah. Um. It drops on Thursday, guys. People are asking if it's at Urban. I don't know. It's not going to be because it's the margin's crazy. Like if we sold it to Urban, we'd probably lose money. Where's your cut? We would def we would lose. And we money. would be paying you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But anyway, I'm very excited. So thank you guys. Um, <clears throat> you guys seen about the title? Obviously, my marriage. I have a big update about my marriage. Mm -hmm. Things have been <clears throat> obviously, as a lot of people have noted. Uh, people have noted that I'm sleeping in a different room. Yeah. Then Hila, people have noticed that she's posting, uh, she's ex been exercising. It's been tense. When she comes on on Fridays, it's been tense in this room. And, you know, she's been posting pictures where you can see a tiny bit of cleavage. So obviously the signs of a, of a, she's joining OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. So the signs Some are all there. Some real estate agent keeps coming by. <clears throat> the milkman. Yeah. I don't even know. We don't order milk. It's weird. Get it from the grocery yeah, store. Right. Tennis instructor. Uh, what was that uh, quote again? Don't say it. It's too, too painful. Oh, no, no. Coconut say you're divorced. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Give the man a break. Co -co Give the man Jesus, a break. Co -co so now that I'm up, you are down. It's too painful. Please, coconuts, have a heart. In fact, as you can see, I'm already getting owned on Twitter. You're so owned. Because on Friday, we announced Ela starting her OnlyFans. Ugh. Bobby. <laughs> Hi. 
Bobby caught us. Actually, I want to look through the co the comments. He, he caught us. Damn, he caught us slipping with that title and thumbnail of our show. Well, this, this is why I'm watching. As you can see, um, the comments are crazy under that one, dude. I, uh, a lot of people just. Oh, here, here, check out this comment, you know, and this hurt me a lot. I'm not surprised, though I do feel bad for the kid if things get X rated. Because when they grow up, it's definitely going to get awkward, though she is gorgeous, so I'll be watching legally. <laughs> okay. This is the first person to ever admit that they find her attractive. <laughs> and that to me is a problem. That makes me feel very insecure. Right. You know, it's been tough. You are down. <laughs> Somebody said Bobby's now here. Oh, here he is. Look, Bobby. Bo <laughs> Bobby left a comment. I didn't fall for the bait. I checked the video to see if it was true, and it wasn't. But I still wanted to post the title thumbnail on my Twitter. So I just made the caption question, 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 because I didn't want to say it was true. But I also wanted to see people fall for the clickbait on Twitter. Somebody predict oh, he was he was double trolling. Dude, he was some our troll and took it even further, bro. Bro, before he came, this user literally predicted in before Bobby comes here and comments it was 40 chat <laughs> <laughs> and just a troll. And then this guy says, Damn, you called it. Damn, Bobby, careful in the subreddit because you people were enjoying you, but this one's got minus 200. Don't push. Bobby is uh, coming to town soon. He has if I wanted to hang out. Bobby is maybe, coming uh, to town. Maybe he can come to Dave and Buster's with us. We put him on the guest list. <laughs> Please. I go to Dave and Buster's with oh, Bobby. I'll guest list him, but I have 200 people, so I don't, can't guarantee he'll get it. Oh, right. oh shit. <laughs> I feel like Bobby would be randomly really good at DDR. I agree. Like he would have like crazy DDR skills. Ali versus Bobby. Yeah. 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 Okay, guys, please. The I'm being serious. <laughs> okay, now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're. 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 <laughs> Go ahead. Keep playing that. I. Kill yourself. If you're white, if you're cis, kill yourself. If you're gay. Is this a Bo white, This is a Bobby original <laughs> style. If you're trans, if you're white. Kill yourself <laughs> if you're anything but black. Kill yourself, cause black lives matter. Black lives matter. <laughs> uh, uh, Cap Nice, thank you. Says delete it, please. There's a lot of people asking delete it, please. Several people asking, please delete it. We beg you. There are people feeling sick seeing this. There are people crying. Delete it. Please delete it. Please. People are feeling sick with the... <laughs> that was a reference, I believe. Yeah. Yes, it's a copy pasta for, copy for pasta. big news. Big news. So anyway, as people have suspected, there is trouble in paradise. And I have two young boys and I don't want to... I just want the best outcome for them. Which is why <clears throat> yesterday was Mother's Day. Oh, that had to have been so hard. Oh my... It's mommy makeout day. And we, um... For had... you it was. Sorry. I'm so sorry. That was inappropriate. <laughs> mommy makeout With who? Day. I, I don't know. The real estate agent. The milkman. No. Whoever. What, what are you saying about her? You think the whole fucking block's coming over and making out with Ela? The milkman, the agent, the it's grocer... Mother's Day. The gardener, the pool guy. Hey, Dan. You look... I mean... The AC guy. The AC guy. And Ila is a Greek goddess. The garbage man. <laughs> the 80 people's icon in his VIP list. <laughs> okay, guys. Be respectful. Um, so, Sunday was Mother's Day. We had the whole family over. We got... Um, we bought uh, some really... Tasty uh, Israeli food. We catered it. This place called. Somebody was having some tasty Israeli food as well. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it, the 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 Israelis. 
Yeah, no, she did enjoy she did enjoy the food. Right. Yeah. It was very good. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is this is serious. <laughs> bro, come on. Man, Zach show changed in. Damn, what the fuck, bro? Come on. It's not your fault. Hey, I know you you better you get better get ready to start producing for fresh and fit. I doubt they pay as good, by the way. <laughs> They probably don't pay at all. <laughs> Fuck that shit! Okay, can I... So anyway, we got this go great Israeli food. The place called Habait. Shout out. They're really good. I recommend it. It means the home in, in Hebrew. <clears throat> and then, after the meal, I told Ela that uh, we're... Gonna go to Italy together. Trip to save the marriage? You know. She always wanted to go to Italy. Mm -hmm. We're going, to, we're gonna go to uh, Florence. You broke my heart. You going to Sicily? Little Sicily. To get in touch with your roots? <laughs> He has no pizza experience. Or Leone. I'm, I'm going to, uh... Why, so that the fucking, uh... So that the cow milker can fuck my wife, Dan? <laughs> I don't know. That What's was, up there? That the wine, what the I was wine, the, win, I, the vineyard I mean, people? To so the wine no people? people. <laughs> people. <laughs> Not Too funny. much wine, sorry. So anyway, that's basically uh, the update regarding my marriage. Damn. <sighs> That's it. It's heavy. So, uh, we'll see. We'll see what, how, I love to see how they spin this title and thumbnail. <laughs> Ethan is g getting a divorce, baby. <laughs> oh, and every, and you know I'm getting ready to practice my accent out there. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Giacomo, Giacomo, I love your pizza. What is the secret, Giacomo? Giacomo. He has no pizza experience. Pinocchio, I love it, a pizza. Jeez. You're going to be going to Rome? Nah. We don't have a ton of time because of... We're actually going to bring the kids, so it's going to be... It's going to be kind of crazy. Kids loved Hitler. Um, <laughs> wait, can I... <laughs> well... No. Wait, why can I say that? I can say that, right? Hmm. Yeah. Well, where's Vatican City? It's near Rome? It's in Rome. Yeah, I'm not allowed near there. <laughs> so we're, go we're going to Florence. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, the kids are coming, and so... It's going to be great. I'm really excited and, um... Ja, uh, hey! Giappetto! <laughs> I love that, you! That sounds great. Giappetto, I... You got this pizzeria. Where do you get that mozzarella? I love it! Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> Where's the Mario Brothers from? I want you to visit the historical site. You know where the famous plumbing brothers? Where is it they're from? They're gonna love this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's so cool. I'm looking at popular Italian names because I ran out. Yahoo! Antonio! I have a cousin named Jacopo. What is it? Jacopo. Jacopo. Mm -hmm. Jacopo, I love you. Giovanni. Giovanni. Yeah. Tell me, where, where is I can buy a little, little pastaria? I'll take a little pastaria, a, a cacapepe. Cacapepe. Polly. Tony. Tony. Well, that's like an American one. 
I'm looking for like real ass Italian names like uh Tommaso Giuseppe <laughs> Giuseppe, I love you. I know it was you, Fredo. I know some Italian. Lena studied in Italy for a month. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Benito. Good Benito. Tell me where is the good pasta around here? The cappuccino. Oh. Benito and Giacomo. <laughs> where is, uh... Where is Beatrice? Beatrice? Luigi! Yo, Luigi's on here. Top Italian names. Luigi. Of course, Vinny. Yo, that's fucking sick. There's people named Luigi. <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> Did you not know it was a real name? Well, I figure... I've, I've met a few Luigis in my life. Oh, you have? Yeah. I never met one. I figure it was just like, once it became a meme, people phased out. I guess that might be true. Luigi. Yahoo! Lorenzo. Alright, let's thank our sponsors and then, uh... We got a whole great show here for you guys, actually. And you guys might notice, I'm feeling skinny today. I see lots of comments about it. Mm-hmm. One of these fitness guys apparently made a video uh, commending me on my weight loss journey. And the comments are insane. And this is from two months ago, so imagine how much respect he has for me now. But let us thank our gracious and lovely sponsor, Stamps.com. Just one sponsor here today. I love, I love you. Stamps.com. I love me, Stamps.com. If you use the mail, if you've got a small business, or if you're a prolific mailer at that, or a big business, Stamps.com is going to get you through whatever it is better than however you're doing it now. You know what I mean? They've been in business for 25 years, and there's a reason they've been in business so long. They're in the business of saving time and money. So you can focus on your business, knowing that Stamps.com has all your posters and he's covered with premium discounts and great rates. Listen to this. Let me start from here. Stamps.com gets you 84% off USPS and UPS rates. Whoa. You know why? Because they have, they have so many customers, over a million businesses work with them. Mm -hmm. They're able to negotiate these massive uh, shipping costs down. So right there, boom. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Then... The ease of it is incredible. All you need is a computer and a printer. They send you a free scale. So all you do is weigh, this, weigh it on the scale, print the postage, put it on your package. And then you either put it in a drop box or you can even, they, they'll even come get it from your home, dude. Wow. You don't even have to think about it, dude. Thank you, Crowder. That soundbite is paying dividends, man. Uh, it's, it's so convenient. It's such a no-brainer service. I absolutely adore them. They're a fantastic sponsor, and I just love Stamps.com so much. Uh, here, check this out. Set your business up for success when you get started with Stamps.com today. Sign up at Stamps.com slash H3TV for a special offer that includes a four-week trial, free postage, what, and a free digital scale. There's no long-term commitments or contracts. All you got to do is go to stamps.com slash h3tv oh, miss you. and uh, start using it, man. I love it, and I love them, and thank you to stamps.com for being a great uh, supporter of ours, and please consider supporting them. Thank you. I love the stamps that have come. <laughs> all right, let's see. I got all kinds of... So let's watch this fitness guy. This is from two months ago. So I guess I, I probably had done my first push at weight loss, uh, but then I guess I'm in my second push now. Wait, real quick before we move on, I just, could you get this to Ela? This was accidentally sent here. I think this was a Mother's Day card. Why would that go that to Ela? meant to be. Well, it's from, uh. Yikes. I don't think he meant that for Ela. You don't think so? What? He can't see it. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, that looks about right. 
Okay, there's something. That That is it. That's the monitor. There appears to be some technical issue happening. Interesting. Some terrible technical issues. <laughs> you don't have to keep it on. <laughs> Can they see the meme or what? I guess not. I, okay. I don't understand because you are showing my screen when you pull that up. All right, well, you guys know what it is. Just Dan being and Dan making jokes about my innocent wife. All right, should I move on? Yeah, so here's yeah, the video. I guess so. This, wait, hold on. This guy made a 55 second video. Y'all know this is how easy it is to get views with my fucking name in these circles. 55 seconds? Who watches a 55 second video? It has 350,000 views. This has got to be one of his top viewed videos, right? Watch this shit. Let's see. Oh, it's not even close. Okay, arrogant. Well, it's only two months old. Give it time. But it is one of his more recent bangers, I would say, yeah? Let's mm -hmm. see. Latest. 50,007. Oh, okay, 80, 180. Wait, well, they're all under a minute. What are you? What kind of content are you making, brother? All right, so let's watch it. A few months ago, Ethan Klein was getting a lot of attention for his interesting opinions on exercise. Life's too short. Okay, motherfucker, don't be saying I said this shit. For the exercise, I'm just gonna be honest. There's. So I'm a comedian, and people are laughing. Many better things to do than exercise. It sucks being fat. I just want to be normal again. A lot of it's better since I've lost like 20, 30 pounds. Bro, so bro, watch this podcast about me explaining how that whole thing was so silly and stupid. And then he's just like, whatever. It was hard for me to trim my toenail. Losing 30 pounds is an insane achievement, so he deserves credit where it's due. Because so many people, okay. including myself, clowned him before. But Oh, you clowned me, bitch! Dumbass. For what? Being fat? Like, it's just like, I get, I like that he's trying to, like, be supportive. That's cool. But, dude, you're, you're criticizing me for being fat. Fat! 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 And watch now as I lose weight and then all of these people magically start having respect for me again. It's fucking crazy. It's sad. Fat! It's like, he's fat, but he's one of the good ones. Basically. He's one of the good fatties. Yeah. A righteous, a righteous <laughs> obese boy. Like a, like a John Candy type, you know, one of the good ones. Oh, he was the best. These guys, they literally think that Jim, they think insulting the gym is like drawing Muhammad. It's, it's like, they, they, it's not a personal attack on you, bro. And also, I was kidding. Like, come on, somebody please admit that there wasn't serious point in the beginning. Nobody wants to touch that. Come on, man. This man thinks the gym is Mecca, dude. Not that serious. In one video about his new opinion and on his weight loss, the thing that made- Can you pull up his video of me criticizing me? I gotta see that one. Him decide to change was for the most noble reason you can think of. And, and also, I don't want to die. I've got two boys and I want to live a long time for them and, be, and to share my life with them. And I think this is the perfect example <laughs> of how far you can get if you look for reasons to keep going instead of reasons to quit. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe. <laughs> okay, dude. I appreciate the support, though. It's nice. He's, it's nice to see, right? This is it. This is good. I'm not trying to go too hard on, on the boy here who's being an ally, but... This is nice. I gained weight because of medicine I was on. It wasn't because I didn't care about my boys. I found another video he made about you, but it's only a minute long as well. They're all a minute long. I, uh, this, man's, th this man's career on YouTube is a total uh, mystery to me. Being fat makes me miserable. It makes me miserable being fat. I'm so fat I can't breathe when I tie my shoes. They got me. The worst part about being fat for me is the thigh rubbing. Life's too short to exercise. I'm just gonna be honest. If daily activity. God, dude, it's crazy that you can't let that fucking joke go. These are becoming a physical struggle and you hate your physical health. I would highly suggest that you try to change it rather. If you're a f if you don't like being fat, I suggest you go for a walk, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck is your content, dude? This man doesn't like being a fat, so I recommend to go for a walk and eat less. Thank you for watching. 
one thing that I learned through my uh, journey of becoming obese is just like how out of control it is and how hard it is to change and how complex that this notion of you know weight is uh, these guys cannot fucking come to face the terms that people don't choose to be fat. You know what I mean? Like, homie's probably shooting up testosterone every goddamn day and then lecturing people on, like, go for a walk, fatty. But Again, just because our vice is visible to everybody lets you feel superior just because you're not fat. It's like the one thing you have control over in your life because you love going to the gym. That's your hobby for whatever reason. That it, it, it makes them feel so superior. It's pathetic, dude. I hate this gym culture. It's so out of control, man. I love them, though, at the same time, also. Mm. They're my faves. I'm undoing all my hard work. <laughs> Other than making up excuses such as healthy bodies don't live longer than unhealthy bodies. I didn't, nobody fucking said that. I didn't say that. Who are you arguing with, dude? What people don't consider is they say exercising adds on life. That's what oh my god, bro! This is crazy. I didn't say Jeez. that. <laughs> that it actually takes off three years of productivity. Dude, that's Thank a you. fucking joke. Working out will Gooch probably says... suck, but it will suck way less than getting exhausted from tying your shoes. I'm so fat, I can't breathe when I tie my shoes. It makes me miserable being fat. <laughs> Dude, like come on. Wait, why? Wait, what was that clip he showed? That's real struggle, Ethan. Wait, 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 <laughs> hold the phone. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Look at this poor uh, Indian man running for his life. This is a real struggle. <laughs> He's a Giacomo now. I love this Indian man. It is a real struggle he's feeling. I can't breathe when I What do you shoes. know about this man? What do you mean? He's, this is a real struggle. That's weird. It makes me miserable it's very being weird. fat. I'm not trying. Why is that? Why is this the epitome of struggle for you? An Indian man <laughs> jogging. <laughs> that has to be very racist. Right? And let's be real. This dude definitely struggles less putting on his shoes. Like it's not even it doesn't make sense. Oh, does he have a he has a fake leg? Is that what's going on? Oh, does he? And then well, no, I mean, I he's so. seen. Oh no, he doesn't. Oh, so this no. doesn't make any sense. Stood from tying your shoes. I'm so fat. No, he's fine. Wait, is he fine? Oh yeah, no, he's fine. Yeah, he's good. He's totally normal. I'm fine, <laughs> people. Look at this man. He's struggling. <laughs> <laughs> he lives in India. My God. Is what he's saying, not me. I don't, I'm trying to guess what's the struggle, I don't know. It makes me miserable being fat. I'm not trying to fat shame anyone, but I want all of my subscribers to be able to see their kids grow up, go on walks with their dogs, and take care of their parents. I don't want to a fat shame anyone, but this fat man here, he says that exercising is fucking stupid. <laughs> this fat idiot. I fucking hate him. Fat! I respect this Indian man jogging. <laughs> Look at this Indian man jog. I'm so fat, I can't Look at it. <laughs> it makes me miserable being fat. <laughs> I'm not trying to fat shame. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Why is people watch this? This is so confusing. Half a million views. This has got half a million views. 50 seconds. What is happening here? <laughs> wait, wait. What is happening here? How is this content appealing? Damn, dude. Someone in the comments says, as someone who has been obese my entire life, we need to start fat shaming. <laughs> you said yeah. that in the comments? Someone said that in the comments, yeah. Okay. Then that person is not obese. Yeah, I don't believe you. <laughs> yeah, 336 likes. We need to, I think there's plenty of fat shaming, bro. Oh, wait, wait, wait. In this comments? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I thought you were saying in our chat. I was like, oh, the no, fuck? no, no, no. Yeah, because there, this is a real phenomenon of, like, fat kids... They lose a bunch of weight and then become like gym rats. Mm -hmm. And then they go, I was able to lose weight because I got bullied. Fat shaming is good. <laughs> it's like, okay, Ethan. <laughs> Look at this Indian man I'm running. So I can't breathe right. when I tie my Ethan. shoes. It makes me miserable being fat. I'm not trying to. I would love to pick his brain about why he chose this. 
or being fat. I'm not trying to fat shame this fucking anyone, guy. But I want all of my subscribers to be able to see their kids grow up, go on walks with their dogs, and take care of their parents. And most importantly, have a nice day. Okay, well that's the most important. As long as that's the most important thing. Have a nice day. Dumbass. I, you lost three years of productivity. Proceeds to waste time and ruin his health instead of being productive. Okay, you want to... You I don't know much about you, but you want to argue productivity, bro? Come on. Stop it. Being skinny isn't the only productivity. I'm out here doing five shows a week. That's right. You know what I mean? Like, come on. Call me fat, but not unproductive. This is channel is so weird. I, I kind of wanted to come and be like, yo, thanks for the big ups, dude. Which I should. In a sense, I do. But the comments are not. A wise man learns from the mistakes of others. How is that applicable to me? Who I, whose mistakes am I learning from? Fat people? Other fat people? I don't like Ethan, but I can respect him for changing his life and trying to be healthy. Thank you. <laughs> the classic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nobody so makes... Funny that's the top one. This, okay, so I, this is a condemnation of this whole gym culture. Nobody makes better fitness edit motivational videos than this guy. Truly the best. This? Cream of the crop. The running Indian guy? No offense, you know. I wish Ethan the best. It's never too late to make the right choices. Okay, thank you. Bro literally contradicts himself. Well, that's, yeah, because it was a joke. Right. I wish you the best. I don't, I'm starting to think that these gym guys are not the brightest. And I don't want to bright with like a broad brush, you know, but... They're just not the brightest. Ethan is the oldest looking 35 year old I've ever seen. He could easily pass his 50 plus. 800? Come on. <laughs> that can't be true, can it? <laughs> 50 plus, you guys? Shit. No. The strength of a per- Oh, this is great. <laughs> Thank you so much. We know you're real. 40. Yeah, we know you're Don't 42. Worry. Chill. You got eight years. 42. I'm way off. Good. Good. Let, read into this for me. The strength of a person lies in his ability to forgive. This man is f he's being forced to forgive me for my comments. <laughs> the strength. <laughs> the strength of a person lies in his ability to forgive. He, he's forgiving me. His strength. He's strong because he's forgiving me for making a joke about the gym. Dude, that guy's badass. <laughs> Dude, that like, guy's fucking badass. <laughs> the strength of a man. Yeah. It is a. I'm glad to see him redeem himself again. Just because I lost weight, that's all it took to redeem myself. Don't you see how fucked up this world is? <laughs> that quote you're about to say was in the comments of the other video as well. I had like 50 up. Books. Redeeming himself by losing weight. Do you see how fucking crazy that is? Look, I get. I think he still doesn't like this gym stigma, but the fact that he's willing to do this for his kids is amazing. That I, I appreciate that comment. Because you, you acknowledge, I just don't like the gym, you know what I mean? Honestly, he was making an offhand sell- Oh, whoa, whoa, hold the fucking phone. What, what, what? He Wait was a making an offhand self-deprecating joke that unfortunately stated the internet means that everything is always going to get twisted and taken way too seriously. Glad he is doing that, though. It's always uplifting to hear people working towards their goal. Let me think about it. Blight's 5468, let's fucking this? go. <laughs> what, what a champion. Yeah, so anyway, actually, the comments are mostly really nice, and his video, the message is nice. So I thank him. Thank you to uh, Arcadillo, who is the most inspiring fitness content. Yo, what do they mean inspiring? Were they just like hate on fat people? They like feel superior by hating on fat people. Here's one about Nick Ocado. He actually did it. Nico Cardo Avocado, who has in the last few years made a living from eating ungodly amounts of food, has been away from YouTube for a while, and now he's back and he has lost oh, 40 for real? kilos. I lost 89 pounds. Wait, he's has lost he? lost a good amount of weight so far. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Good for him. Yeah. Okay, and actually this video is nice. He's giving props too, to Nick. 
Many people considered him a lost cause, so if he can do it, anyone can. He looks a million times healthier, wow. and even though most YouTubers put on an exaggerated I didn't know he did that. Their video, Good for him. Truly seems like he's more Remember relaxed, he was eating corn and... in that video we watched. Oh yeah, he yeah. was getting down on corn. He was oh, chomping on that Are corn. people that's still down? Corn. Are his audience still watching him chomp on vegetables? Yeah, people still watch. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's awesome. Good for him, man. Compared to his old ones. It's great to see someone with such a big audience make a positive change. And again, if he can do it, anyone can. I like Thank it. So I, that that was a nice video. I like Arcadelio. He's a good man. I, I want to hear his one. This is Cake Paul. I'm assuming that's a nickname unless his parents are playing a prank on him. Anyway, <laughs> he has started his weight loss journey and in this video he does something that almost everyone wished they did too. Take progress pictures from the start. <laughs> Wait, why that photo? The one with the mom? <laughs> that's like such an iconic... <laughs> <laughs> that's the best progress. <laughs> Fucking... Cl oh, dude, that's so awesome. <laughs> and you know your boy has a plate of food right here too for the gains in the photo. That could be like a response photo on Twitter. That is so funny. Mom, it's a me. It is a me. I've seen oh, it before. Good. Yeah, oh it's my so god, funny. I need that. It's understandable to not want to take pictures of yourself if you think you look bad, but most people who have ever achieved a good physique says they regret not taking more pictures at the beginning. And it's much better to compare yourself to yourself rather than someone online who takes steroids and edits their photos. When you get unmotivated and feel like you're slacking, you can look Damn, back Damn, good for you, bro. You okay, this guy's uh, motivating me. We love Ar Arcadelio. Mm hmm We love him. We love him. Let's see what he's saying about the... <laughs> is he Italian? This is a video that... Let's see what he's, he's saying now. about the... He's Norwegian. I can hear it on his voice. I'm 99% sure. Okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. in beer pool, you would know, I mean, yeah, you know. Deleted ...because of the hate comment she got. This is the reason as to why me and so many other women hate themselves and their bodies. So apparently it's Madison Beer's fault that you hate yourself just because she looks better than you. Don't oh. get me wrong, if someone were to ask... Okay, I see. Okay, well, hey bro, keep it up, man. You can make a new video about me every time I lose five pounds, bro. That's what it is. Shout me out, please. I need all the help I can get, brother. Call into the show. Friend of the show. Arcadelio. But I'll tell you what, man. I'm as I come down on weight, as I hope I continue to and hit my goal of like 180 or something. I will be should mayo up that dome advocating and fighting <laughs> for my fat brothers and sisters. Mm. Cuz I know what it's like. I know how hard it is. Mm. And the fat phobia is fucking a real thing, bro. I've seen it play out in front of our eyes. People go, "I'm f I forgive him." I forgive him for being fat. <laughs> That's crazy. So there it is. Pretty fun. Love that. Um, also kind of in the realm of uh, inspi inspiring. I don't know. There's a whole genre now of women who are going on these shows like this whatever and Fresh and Fit and actually destroying these fucking losers. Quite, quite great to see. So, there's a little context. Apparently, this guy who she's talking about, he came on to talk about the importance of self-control. That's like his whole shtick, okay? Can I ask you one more question? Fire away, honey. Okay. <laughs> um, if you have only one place in your heart for one woman, or you want to have one woman in your heart, I think you said, why don't you just commit to one and choose to be faithful to her? I'm just not wired that way. I spent my whole 20s trying to fix myself. I thought you're something a was man wrong of self-control. You, you work out, you do business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can possess your own, your own power it's and do not, direct just, it the way you want to direct it. It's just not how I am. It's not how I am. I've you tried. think that might be a limited mindset? I think it's none of your business, but I don't want you to think I'm triggered by you. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just mention that real yeah. fast. You're not getting to me. Right. I don't know who this guy is. This is a new character unlocked, but man, he looks like yeah. a douche. I have more humility than you. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Same vibes. I just want to let you know right now you ain't triggering me, girl. <laughs> like nobody said anything about it. You think that might be a limited mindset? I, I love her. Business, but I don't want you to think I'm triggered by you. I'm not. Okay. I saw somebody say that, and I think that's interesting. I think you're annoying, but I'm not triggered. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? No, you are. You're annoying. <laughs> Bro, don't you see how pathetic you are? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yo! The slightest bit of pushback and like a fair, like pointing out their uh, hypocrisy 
sends this guy into a total meltdown. Yeah, she suddenly like, becomes a, a girl who is making no sense and is stupid. Annoying. Not even worth listening. Annoying. Yeah, literally. She and totally no not triggering me, and by the totally way. it's totally not her business. <laughs> None of your business. None of her business. On this show, I'm here to talk about. Literally. I literally came on this show to talk about it. Yeah, 100% not her business. This goody two-shoes type way, and that's fine. <laughs> uh, I'm going to live my life on my terms, unapologetically, like truly. So uh, you can ask me this 85 different ways. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I'm going to walk out of here the same man. I ref and that's my favorite. I refuse to change. <laughs> I refuse to change or better myself in any way. It doesn't matter what evidence or information I'm presented with. I promise I will never change. <laughs> I am incapable. I just want to be left alone. Just I just want to be left <laughs> alone. Left alone. Yeah. But then there's actually a little bit of a wrinkle. So this tweet says, in the first time in TikTok history, the chick humiliates the guy. And it's like, okay, first time in history. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, but then you go down. His... You can see here, he goes, his whole message is about importance of self-control. So she said, why don't you control your lust instead of cheating and shagging loads of strangers? And he resorted to petty name calling. He got defeated. And by, a by a female. So oh, then, my God. So then I was like, wait, 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 oh, wait. Embarrassing. Wait. He got defeated in a debate by a female. I was like, hmm, rip my, my spidey senses started tingling. <laughs> That's like losing a war to the French. Weak. Then he goes on. Oh, monsieur. Switch off for a sec. I want to see what this image is. That's like losing a war to the French. Oh, it's said nothing. by a British guy. I'm pretty sure the French have defeated the British many times. Uh, go, go ahead. You can come back, Ian. This, and then he goes. The solution is simple. Men should seek purpose and validation from God, not female genitalia. The real alpha males of this era are building communities, not pumping and dumping women like they're shit coins. Here's how it can be done. <laughs> I, like their shit I was like, yo, it's just another <laughs> Alpha Sigma bro uh, trying to fucking. Is, there's no escape from this crap. Out Sigma him. He, he goes on. Him. Ugh. The bottom line is this the pursuit of sexual hedonism, hedon, hedonism hollows out your heart. The only way to feel you have something to worth living for is to find a cause that's worth dying for. Martyrdom is the pinnacle of masculinity. Hold the fucking phone. Huh? I ain't what? martyring myself. Wait, for martyrdom? Nothing. That's what, what he said. The fuck? This man just took an ISIS ass turn. <laughs> martyrdom is the pinnacle of masculinity. Then go die, bro. Self sacrifice over self worship. Men are me machines of war. That's all we are. Jeez, man. In order for you to find purpose, what you actually need is to find an enemy to go to war with. You need to find a dragon to slay. That enemy should be the devil and his children. That's the real crusade. I was like, oh, bro. This tweet started off so good. <laughs> and then it got so fucking weird. The medication wore off. Right. <laughs> but there's actually another girl I'm a fan of who's been go making the rounds and destroying the guys, too. Where's that one here? Oh, here. Uh... Here's I, here's some of her on Fresh and Fit just you destroying them. For you to dress however you like when you're committed. So satisfying to see uh, somebody come on these shows and cry. Still relationship with a man? I think you should wear whatever you, you want. Did you say something, Abby? I was saying her name is Fudda. Is, what, what, is, what's the... Where's that name from? You know? Um, it's, it's an Arabic name. I know that. Hmm. I know a lot of Fuddas back home. In Dearborn. It's all relative. Like, there are hijabi women who will look at our definition of modest <laughs> garb and consider us whorish. And likewise, I've heard men say that they consider their girlfriend even wearing makeup in a relationship to be them seeking attention from other men. And I feel like if you just use the male gaze as guidance, you're just being controlled. Haram! <laughs> so, okay. So you think they should be able this to... Man just pushed, he, this man just pushed his own soundbite of Andrew Tate screaming haram. Crazy. How they want? Yeah, I mean, obviously, if I was dating... Mid-conversation. <laughs> you're talking to her. Don't be pushing sound bites on her. You're you're one-on-one you're, you're -on -one with her, man. It's crazy. Guy, you said this makes me feel a bit insecure, then I would, like, be amenable to that discussion. But I don't, as a blanket rule, think that, like, what I wear is a reflection of my loyalty to him. Thank you. But wouldn't it be fair to say that people judge a book by its cover in today's society? Yes, and like I said, some people judge that in a very dumb way. Right, Queen. In, in a way that's a projection of their own insecurity. Thank you. Again, she's, she's hitting on the heart of it. These guys are all deeply, deeply, 
deeply insecure and they cannot they cannot entertain that would look at like i said a girl wearing makeup i just find it funny when women who wear these dresses are these like i want to hold the phone coconuts is actually trying to say some shit let's see i gotta listen closely i would look at like i said a girl wearing makeup i just find it funny when women who wear these dresses are these like i want to say revealing revealing outfits and then they get mad when guys cat call them or hit them up and it's like you're wearing it to attract them. Yeah, I mean, I, so, so you think it's okay to dress however you want, even in a... He's fun. We, yeah, he's dumb. There's he's so dumb. nothing going on up there. He, he, I think Fit had to be like... He had to fill in the blank. He was trying to think of, like, reveal or something, and his brain uh, stopped working. Uh... Aw. <laughs> uh, uh... Commit a relationship. No. I'm asking. Oh. Yes. Okay. Would you be, um... So if your guy told you change, you would not change? Obviously in a relationship you compromise and you do things for the other person's insecurity, but that doesn't mean that I think it reflects on my value. Yes, bitch. Insecurity. So if that made my boyfriend insecure and I value the way he feels, then maybe I would change, but it's not because I think I have less value dressed in a certain way in a relationship. Do you think it's really insecurity or more about him trying to make sure that you present yourself in a way where people respect you and don't look at you as an and, and, and again, follow that all the way. It's about how it makes you feel. It, it makes you you want other men to validate uh, you because your girlfriend's acting right. Therefore, you are seeking approval from other dudes, which is so gay, by the way. <laughs> so insecure. Well, like I said, what do you think you of my gay? example of makeup? If my boyfriend were to say, stop wearing makeup. Why are you wearing makeup if you have a boyfriend unless you're trying to attract other men? Do you think that's People do say that. She's absolutely right. Valid? I mean, that does not equate nearly to the same level as dressing provocatively, showing your tits, and having your body out. It's like wearing makeup. It doesn't even Right, and like I said, it's relative, and in certain cultures, they would consider even wearing a tight turtleneck provocative. Yeah, but we're speaking in, in general Western cultures. We're not talking about like a restrictive Islamic society or something like that. We're talking about like a, a general Western culture, right? Common sense. You're, if you're showing your ass, your titties, etc., you're over-sexualizing yourself. Enhancing your beauty is, you know, one thing, but, like, sexualizing yourself is a completely different thing. Let's be honest here. I've... There's no general Western culture. Like, what are you talking about? Like, the standards are different in Europe than it is... To, like, you're talking about Miami. Like, that's that's what you know. Like, that's And I've world. been to Miami, dude. Though, I'm saying, if you are worried about pe modesty, Miami is not the place for you. Right. Um... I like how he's trying to split hairs here. He goes, let's be real. There's a big difference between... Or what did you say? A video where right. Common sense. You're, if you're showing your ass, your titties, etc. You're over-sexualizing yourself. Enhancing your beauty is... You know, there's a big difference between enhancing your beauty and sexualizing yourself. Okay, what is the difference, dude? One thing, but like... Sexualizing yourself is a completely different thing. Let's be honest here. I've seen a video where a girl walks down the street of Manhattan for 12 hours wearing a white v-neck tank top uh -huh. tucked into jeans. Yes. Yep. And people say she's asking to be catcalled. Would you consider that a provocative? You outfit? know what? I love that you use that example. <laughs> <laughs> you triggered my trap. Because oh, you, you are you. so oh, embarrassing. Oh my lord. You, uh, how, you are so embarrassing. That was brutal. You just got owned. <laughs> All my homies hate you. <laughs> Dude, you were so embarrassing. <laughs> Not to mention just the weather where he's at too in Miami. It's so fucking humid. Like, obviously people are going to be wearing less. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but um, God. it's funny because her point was perfectly made. He goes, we're according to Western culture. And she goes, okay, so what about this? Women walk around in jeans and a top. Totally acceptable, not pushing it. So sh here's his, his trap. <laughs> <laughs> you triggered my trap Because card. they did that with a woman that was dressed in a hijab, and they did that with a woman that was dressed provocatively. Even though the woman in the hijab did get catcalled as well, it mitigated the catcall significantly. Oh right, God. but you were saying we choose Western norms as the Thank default. Thank you. And the owned. white t-shirt and jeans is the default, Absolutely not the hijab. Owned. And now you're advocating for the hijab. I'm not advocating for the hijab. I'm saying if you take, we're taking two extremes here, and I'm saying... When you dress extremely modestly, it 
uh, reduced the amount of cat calls significantly. So that standard outfit, white t-shirt, jeans, she just happens to have curves. Is that yeah. provocative? Here's the thing. Should she dress like that if she has a boyfriend? That 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 adds even more credence to what we're saying because even if you dress regularly, guys are going to catcall you. So wouldn't it behoove you to think, damn, if I dress provocatively it's for real, then that's going to be even worse. Right, and that default outfit. <laughs> God. If yep. her boyfriend Masshole. said, don't dress like that, would you consider that operating out of insecurity? No, that's operating out of reality. Right. No, you're insecure. She's awesome. I love her. Mm -hmm. uh, she's on TikTok at Farah. Farah uh, Khalidi? Khalidi? Yeah. Yeah, she's awesome. <laughs> There's a bunch of uh, other ones. I don't know if you guys want to watch. They're all really good. Here, I'll watch one more. What's your body Oh, yeah, she, this is when I followed her. She was doing these kind of, like, uh, comedy videos. And then she started making the rounds on these all these shows we um, talk about. Eight. That's fucking disgusting. Are you serious? You're basically damaged goods after letting that many guys hit. They were all women. Oh. So you're a virgin. Yeah. Very good. So there it is. Mm-hmm. Love to see it. Oh, we have updates on the prices? Sure, let's take a look. Where are they? They're at the top. Um... All right, you guys want to know the prices on these classics? Here we go. Crew neck. Wait, what? That those prices don't seem right. No, those aren't right. Those are old. Those aren't the right prices. Okay, I'll look. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um. Did you get that from Luke? So he. he ask him if he got the updated prices. Yeah, it could be old. We'll yeah. see. Thank you, Luke. Luke. Thank you, Luke. Uh, Papa John is cheating on me. You guys fucking believe this? What? With this other YouTuber? Goddamn. Papa's in the house. Uh, what's his name? Danny Duncan. Danny Duncan? <laughs> I don't know much about this Kentucky Derby shit, but this is the whitest goddamn thing <laughs> I have ever seen in my life. Look at this. They dress mm. up like they're going to a wedding to watch horse race? Okay, and Papa, by the way, the newly divorced Papa, I don't know which one's his girl, but like, okay, Papa. Probably the left one, right? Yeah, I'm assuming maybe that's Don Danny's yeah. girlfriend. Mm. Dude, that's so awesome. Look at Papa. So beauty. Let me finish. What? I said so beauty. Yeah. Look at these yeah, dresses. Yeah, no, I mean, they you got to stunt on them horses. Oh, yeah. That turns me on. Uh, Peyton Manning, the whitest dude in the world, needs Papa John. Papa, I never said the N-word, John. <laughs> 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 dude, this is this is like hell on earth, dude. Crazy I wouldn't angle on that photo. Fucking never want to go to this. Look at these men. These women are wearing like goddamn plantation hats. You see that? Mm -hmm. That hat was racist. Got your hat. So that's it. I just saw Papa and uh, give him a little shout out. Mm -hmm. By the way, ABC Fall lineup is crazy, you guys. They got inspired by our ideas on Friday. Check this out. The elephant gynecologist. His hands might be big, but his heart is bigger. <laughs> no, and, and, no, uh, no. Cumberbatch, actually. That's a big, that's mm -hmm. a big get. That's a real Doctor Strange. I hmm. am a surgeon! Uh, here, the next one, Mel Gibson. The mad chiropractor. The voices in his head help him fix your back. Schizophrenic uh, chiropractor. <laughs> I like Mel Gibson for that role. This is the... Uh, the PTSD podiatrist. 
Do not uh, scream. Do not make sudden <laughs> movements or you might regret it. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Dude, these are so freaking insanely good. Oh my god. And my favorite one. By the way, shout out to Purple Axel. These are so funny. This is my favorite one. The Closeted Urologist. <laughs> one doctor's pursuit to accept himself. <laughs> oh man. I do think that there's something there. The closeted <laughs> urologist, I mean, there's something there. Deeply closeted, but he handles cock all day. Gay. There's something there, you guys. Yeah. Thank you, then. It's like Dexter being a cop. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right. <laughs> it's just like that. It's ironic. <laughs> A uh, new Elon Musk meme just dropped. He was caught at a rave in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Look at this shit. Get a load of this fucking guy. This guy has like 10 kids, right? Look at this. What are you doing? Why are your hands on your head like that? I'm rich, bitch! Oh, God. I'm rich, bitch! What are you Everything. doing, dude? Everyone's just filming him, too. Look at that. Oh, brother. He's, he's feeling it. He's letting loose. That is one strange man right there. What's the story with the girl? You think she's with him or she's trying to, like, get with him or maybe nothing, but uh, there's some interesting... connected to him. No, just dancing next to yeah. each other. She... Uh... Maybe, yeah, maybe not. No girls for Elon that night. Just him. Just for the hey, that dance floor. Just me. That can't be in public, right? It has to be some weird exclusive place. Probably. Me and her are the only one da dancing in the fucking bar, you know? <laughs> <laughs> just me and you, baby. Just me and you tonight. Put your hand. He's, he's probably tripping balls. Put your hands on your head. <laughs> he's getting arrested in his... In his, uh, he's on mushrooms, probably. Put your hands on your head, but keep dancing. <laughs> you must keep dancing with your hands on your head or we'll shoot. It is incredible how fucking nailed to the floor his feet are. Oh, man. Like, I didn't even look at his feet. They don't. They are fucking fused. You're right. Floor. Dude, this looks like a fucking Team Star <laughs> story, man. <laughs> so I'm grinding with this girl, right? Elon Musk is there. Right. He's just dancing. He's not with anyone. His, his hands are on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Keep dancing. Put your hands in the air. Put your hands on your head. Sounds like <laughs> like uh, acoustic version or something. <laughs> like it doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Yeah, right. That was fun. Just a little fun thing. Uh, Martha Stewart, 81, oldest cover for Sports Illustrated. Check out her. 81? I'll have what she's having. What's in those cookies and shit she's baking? I was baking? gonna say. What's in this cookies and Yo, is she really looking this good at 81? <laughs> is this like super airbrushed? No, I, she's a natural beauty. Martha Stewart's always been beautiful. Let her cook. But 81, man? Yeah, I'm, She's perfect. She got cleavage and shit? very gracefully. Do you think it goes I'm away? I'm sure she has some work. No, I, no, I don't know, but like you don't see 81 year olds with their cleavage out usually. I'm looking at her right now. Coming. I'm coming. Coming. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Good for her. She's so fucking beautiful. Jail did her good. Mm hmm. She's going to live forever at that pace. God, I love her. Oh, she started a career as a model. I didn't know that. Wow. She's like a different person, man. If I saw these two pictures, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think it was the same person. I feel like I see it. I see it, but... Skin is the same. <laughs> Do you see it? I don't. I don't. Um, <laughs> someone, you guys know Dark Nathaniel? Uh, Dark Nathaniel Klansman? Someone made AI to try to see what Dark Nathaniel Klansman would look like. Oh no. I'll tell you what. Fed it all the details. Mm hmm. Mm, that's kind of what I was picturing. I'm trying to feel it out. 
This one you're feeling? So far. Let's see how many. Yeah, that's good. That one seems good. Mm. That one I'm not doesn't quite that look one. like this you. This one gives me Hodor vibes. This one I'm not liking. Yeah. Although he looks cr pretty crazy. Ah, uh, yeah. Sometimes. Uh... Is there more? Keep going. Oh, interesting. Very young mm. version of yeah. Daniel. Could see this one, maybe. This one's Ooh. good. It's okay. That's good. <laughs> Love the overalls and shit, for sure. Yeah. This guy, nah. Yeah. Oh, this guy's good. He's the <laughs> perfect age. You know, he's middle-aged. He's seen some shit, boy. I tell sure. you, man. I've seen plenty of stuff in my day, boy. Whew, some things I wish I had. And got some good memories, though. Some bad ones, too. When I was just a boy... My papa used to wake us up in the middle of the night. I guess that's where I get all my peculiarities at, you might say. So papa would come, wake us up around 3 a.m., come out of bed. <sighs> We'd go out in the backyard, dig holes. Papa would never tell me what them holes was for, but come morning, them holes was filled up. One, one about a decade later, I realized what was in them holes. Changed me. Changed me. Now, I always thought my papa was a good man, but... When you look inside them holes and you realize what was deep down there... Makes you wonder, did I ever know the man? Hmm. Well, anyways, I was talking about that one time that Jeremiah came... Yeah. That's him, right? Okay. Nice. I can keep going if you guys want. No, we're good. <laughs> okay. I tell no. you what, man. You ever dug a hole at 3 a.m. with your pappy behind you? Got the flashlight on the back of your head there. It says, don't turn around now, boy. No. The flashlight is so bright, if you turned around, you couldn't see nothing anyway. You can't, can't do this. Well, one day he told me, get in the hole, boy. I said, Papa, what are you talking about, man? It's tired. He said, boy, get in the hole. Something in his voice there scared me to my core. I never thought of my Papa as a scary man, but... In that moment, I did what he told me. Stepped down into the hole. He said, that's right, boy. Lie down in the hole, he said to me. Oh. Oh, that was a dark moment for me. I laid there in the hole. It's a beautiful night. Stared up at the sky. I remember a few passing clouds, but boy, you ain't never seen the sky so pretty as that. Right by me, seen the northern light. Thank you. I'll continue his backstory at another time. Yeah. I mean, small doses. Still developing. The next time we have a guest. <laughs> I'm sure they'll love that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Mm. Let's see here. Aiden Ross wants me to text him. Seriously? No way. We I think that boat sailed, brother. You saw that? Yes. Oh my fucking god, bro! Oh, that hurt. Is that him on the right? Is that why he wants my validation so bad? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, maybe that's why I kept asking if you hate him. What? Here he is. He looks so young, man. Okay, yeah, okay, see. okay. This is the exclusive content we got from his old classmate. Correct. So this is probably trip him out. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> this sweet. This is like uh. Bro, get away from me! You're making me nervous. Ah, this tower. In big trouble, girl. Yeah? Hey, Y'all weird as fuck, chat. In big trouble, and I don't want to be in big trouble. There the fuck is, is that? Aiden, I don't know how you became. There was a path for you. Oh, oh my fucking god, bro! 
You could have been one of the good ones. But what, one of our last? Yo, this is so interesting season. that someone sent him this. You're trying to break I through guess. to him, don't you think? Yes. Yes. Update was that he, I feel like it, this is a cycle we've gone through several times before with him. What? What's the cycle? He says something crazy. Yeah. And then you talk shit on him on the show. Yeah. And then a little bit of time passes. And then you see a clip of him, and you're like, oh, I feel like he's got a good heart. I didn't say that. And he sees that, and I then didn't he's say like, that, or whatever, some version of that. I didn't say I didn't say nothing about nobody yet. And then you guys talk. You nope. did go through all of this, and then you were gonna meet up before, and then it never happened, and then we went back to being <laughs> mad at him. It's just, uh, it's a brutal cycle. That's not, I didn't realize your shirt. Your chair says "Nice day." That's sweet. Yes. <laughs> yes. You, uh, having like a relapse and saying. Oh, All that uh, recent stuff he's been doing was as a result. Bro, of this music thing. chat. Yeah, what the hell? Path to the light for him. Is he off the internet, love? Maybe you know since he put out that I relapsed. I've been taking some time off, Ethan. Why don't you text me, huh? Well, I haven't heard anything since then, yeah, so it's very heard. possible. He's, that oh, he's still streaming. He's, yeah, he's still on. He was talking shit about uh, I Show Speed's new song that came out the other day. I'm not gonna lie, bro, it's a bad chat. Ever since that Vegas IRL streams, I think I've only done like three streams, bro. That's fucked. I gotta get on my consistent shit, chat. Why do y'all not motivate me, bro? Like, what the fuck? We know all I know, bro. He's lost. <laughs> look at you, man. You're like, you, you look up to Andrew Tate, but what has he done for you? You're, you can't even stream. You're so unmotivated and fucked. Come on, dude. Come to the light side. Bye. Over it. Not doing the cycle anymore, Dan. He's cut off. Fuck you. I will not be texting you. I will not be DMing you. I break the cycle. I will not be. This is a cycle of abuse. You've been given too many chances. Thank you so much. And that turns into a circle. We tried. I really <laughs> did, you know. <laughs> oh, new PMP video? Let's fucking go. P Let's P go. By the way, PMP is like calling in on Friday. Let's uh, go. I want to talk to him about a few things. Oh God, we have we were planning our live show. It's, I think we got some funny ideas. Yeah, just made me think. Yeah, of I'm our, stoked now. Forget what? Yeah, I said. Yeah, I'm stoked now. Me too. Did do we ask P and P about that idea yet? Is he in, or do we not know yet? I don't know. I loved our idea for P and P. He's the best. Let's go. So serious and complicated criminal case, no jail. Right, we're right outside of Rancho Cucamonga Courthouse, where we scored big. Uh, at the outset of this case, it was really tough. I'll tell you, we had multiple victims. We had multiple charges. We had a lot of jail on the line. But I'm proud to announce that today we took a good deal, no jail, and this is going to be off his record in no time. How do you feel? I feel great. You got me off the worst thing I could have probably imagined. It was like you were walking into a burning wreck for me. You just saved me from all these charges. I don't have to pay anything. It's, it's really perfect. Like, I'm free. I'm good. I'm free, now, baby. There's no one I noticed something peculiar about this video. David is not specific at all about the crimes, only that there was many hmm. victims. You're right. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, you watch this back. Yeah, let's he's, watch it again with that in mind. He, he, he's concealing the truth of how fucking heinous this guy is. All right. Let's see. All right, we're right outside of Rancho Cucamonga Court. First of all, I, can't, I still have a hard time believing that Rancho Cucamonga is a real place. <laughs> it's like 20 minutes from here. I know, but the name is... What the fuck <laughs> that's, where, that's where I was on Friday. <laughs> I was in Rancho. Rancho Cucamonga? Uh -huh. <laughs> what? Yeah. Cucamonga. It's called Rancho Cucamonga. That's fun. Do you feel like <laughs> do you feel that way because Bugs Bunny would use it as like a funny sounding place all the time? That no. was yeah. And it, I didn't even know that in, in the old Looney Tunes. It <laughs> really mentioned Rancho Cucamonga. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, let's let's watch here. House where we scored big uh, at the outset of this case is really now. Tough. Want, now I want you, you to notice to... something he's doing in his eyes. Watch closely as he says. He tries to convey you just how fucked up this shit is. Tough, I'll tell you. We had multiple victims. We had. Oh wait, no. Sorry, I missed it. Hold on. Multiple. Ch where we scored big. Uh, at the outset of. You this see that? Is Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's telling. This guy's a fucking menace to society. Really tough. 
his, look at his eyes here. Something bad happened. Really tough, I'll tell you. We had multiple victims. We had multiple, multiple victims, multiple charges. We had a lot of jail on the line, but I'm proud to announce that today we took a good deal. No jail, and this is going to be off his record in no time. How do you feel? I feel great. You got me off the worst thing I could. What did he do? Mm. What could he have done with multiple victims? Huge jail time. Could have been drunk mm. driving. Drunk hit, yeah, hit, hit drunk hit and run with injuries. Something like that could definitely get you put away for a long time. And he's like, I'm happy to say I'll be back driving uh, right now. <laughs> headed to the bar to celebrate. I'm going to celebrate, yeah. And it's going to be off my record. I could have possibly imagined. It was like you were walking into a burning wreck for me. You just saved me from all these charges. I don't have to pay. Is that a is that a clue? I walk burning wreck. Burning wreck. You just saved me from all these charges. I don't have to pay anything. It's it's really perfect. Like I'm free. I'm good. I'm happy. There's no one better than this guy. He right. took all the time in the world for me. He is, this is the best. Great. Nothing else you can ask. Let's go. That's right. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, but he was happy about it at least. Yeah. So there's David. The first time he's never... Oh, wait. He, the, wait, there's info here. Hold on. Client's charges looked like a laundry list. Multiple victims were in, involved, including one off-duty police officer. Hand on head. Emoji. The prosecutors were not sympathetic at all for a client who felt the full force of his own government coming after him. Not his own government. What a betrayal. I uh, know. <laughs> <laughs> At least if the Mexican guy or like yeah. the you know the Italy's hell? coming from my own government <laughs> prosecuting me, this is fucked. After doing a deep dive into the case's volum uh, volum volum voluminous volum voluminous evidence, which included many written reports, statements, and over thirty-five separate videos, what happened? Thirty-five videos. We we're able to find several holes in the prosecution's case. It was like you're walking into a burning wreck for me, he s said our client. Burning wreck or not, our job is always the same. Never leave stones unturned and don't give up. Let's go. My man. My client was filmed by 35 different angles committing this crime in HD clarity. <laughs> but uh, we discovered that one of the cops that arrested him, uh, registration was uh, expired. Therefore, they had no choice but to let him go. <laughs> to let him go. Oh, that's awesome. Got him on the tick. <laughs> Multiple <laughs> victims. Look at the comments, dude. Multiple victims. Unf unfortunately, <laughs> what did he do? Unfortunately. Yo, what did he do? Someone asked. David says, can't disclose without further client consent because I forgot to in the video, but it was bad. Wait. He we got to contact him, ask him to reach out to the guy, give him consent so he can tell us. We need we to have know. To. We need to know. I'm invested. <laughs> what did this guy allegedly do? Everybody's invested, man. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said boom yeah. the whole family. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane for crim lawyers, to be honest. It sure is. That's our boy. You new here or what? Oh, fuck. He's the best, man. He's such a character. Oh, no. I just found his new client. Oh, no. Not Nathaniel. <laughs> Serious and complicated criminal case. No jail time. <laughs> we had multiple victims. <laughs> Nathaniel Klansman, he should be in jail, PMP. I can't support that one. All right. That's actually a cameo from, from a series that isn't real. This <laughs> new detective. season of True Detective coming out. I missed that first season of that show. It was so good. You know, fun stuff. Good times, huh? Good times. The lady rushes the judge's bench. Personal. Meanwhile, during a content court. No, no, no. no. Business has nothing to do with Miss Hardwick. No. You will be held in contempt of this court if you I become don't, disruptive. I, don't care. I haven't done anything to this court. I haven't done anything to okay. him. She will be arrested for contempt any, of court. Make any difference. You will serve uh, 10 days for contempt of court. Yo, that's so, no. crazy.
Oh my god, okay, that's not gonna help you. Yo, but that's crazy the judge can just put her ass in jail for 10 days for talking back. That's crazy. 10 days just got turned into like a year though. I read that I think it got uh, turned to 130. 130 days. God, now Dude. that's a long time. I'm sorry, 100, yeah, 120. Well, she really did fuck up. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You don't want to, you know, charge a judge. Fuck that. 10 days moved to 120 and faces new charges. Oh, man. What a world, huh? A uh, guy pushing a shopping cart on rollerblades eats shit. This is right up my alley. Hey, what? This is right up my alley. Love this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dude. Yes, dude. Okay, okay, okay. All right. What? <laughs> so what's the exit strategy here? Hell. Is there sound or is it just like copyrighted music? No sound. I mean, I've seen Jackass do this though. It's going pretty fast. I don't think Jackass has ended like that though. That guy needs a new jaw. And well, it slams into his back. Oh, that guy's oh, gonna yeah. need a new everything. Yeah, I don't remember Jackass going this fast. No. You know, this video is so much better than last week's ones because last week there was victims. This is just stupidity. So we can just enjoy it without any issues. No moral issues here. That's a good point. Just no, enjoy. I don't feel bad at all. No, me neither. Boom. Just why, man? Idiot. This is, you know what? This is how hard it is out there. These guys, instead of finding a job, would rather do this. Try to get famous. You know, it's a tough life out there. It's not easy. We got a new Lizzie in the not box. <laughs> we got a new Lizzie in the box coming out of Scotland. You can shove your coronation. Shove your coronation. <laughs> shove your coronation up your ass. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's a nice ditty they got. Shove your Not as offensive as Lizzie in a box. That shit still shocks me just how callous it is. Oh, I'm like, what's the matter? You guys don't like a party? You don't like old sausage fingers? We got a new fresh uh, uh, singer falling off stage. Jen. Genuine. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, this one's really good. He tries to take this dude with me. He tries to take this dude with him, which would have been <laughs> real bad. Oh, he's the sign language yeah. dude. Hell yeah. How are you going to sign that one? Yo, I, yo, <laughs> yo you got to let him go. You can, that man was ready to take him to the end. He wasn't going to let go of him. This Come on, genuine. Look at he's trying to kill that man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking good. Yeah, get back to work, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this guy rules. Well, he's there you go. He's probably just roasting him with the sign language. <laughs> this that's, dumbass. <laughs> that's attempted murder. I don't care what anybody says. Very good. Very good. Uh, mobility scooter in the rain. You know. Gotta hit our mobility scooter quota. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That thing's fast, man. <laughs> that can't be a mobility scooter, can it be? Oh no! <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, that shit ain't stock. We got some mods on it. You say what? Yeah. I said that thing has to be modded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I bet they gotta know the guy, right? That'd be crazy Probably. just to laugh at somebody like that. <laughs> it might be the that that's making that's making the sound. Oh my god! Did James get it? No, I don't think so. Oh. That was. I said they're getting wet and reckless. Oh that's. There to that. That's what that is. I don't know what cat I doubt this is what Kavanaugh did. All right, let's move on. That's all the fun stuff at the top. Now we got serious stuff to talk about. The Boogie versus Wings of Redemption fight. I'm happy to announce that Boogie did not die. Yeah. Which means that uh, my jokes survived the weekend. Whew. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. It was pretty interesting though. Uh, I'm I won't lie. Here's a let's see. I think I believe Keemstar even tweeted out he gives permission for people to watch this. Didn't he say that? Yeah, it's right here, number six. All right, Keemstar. Here, this is what he said. Don't fucking don't at me, bitch. Boogie and Wings pulled 400k concurrent viewers. Could be closer to one mil if the unofficial react streams were calculated. No. All creators have permission to use the full fight footage for reaction. Okay, bitch. W. Keem. All creators. That's nice. You're don't, one of them. Don't say shit to me. Actually, it is It is a dub. I'm glad. I mean, it's cool he, he yeah. said that. Although, something tells me he gave Ryan Kavanaugh very different um, advice. Considering we know that they met around the time he sued me. Isn't that weird? Oh, what if this is a trap? I think that's, well, he probably doesn't own the footage. I don't, because that's own, it's misfits. Like, why, who right. is he to give permission? Right? Well, in that case, then should we, <laughs> should we take his word on that? <laughs> well, his, it is fair. If it's I mean, not his permission to listen, give. Listen, listen. This commentary is fair use, just that's like the first time we did it. Okay? Eat your heart out. Yeah, so here's Boogie. Uh, versus Wings Redemption. This is a real interesting fight. They, they're, they were bragging that this is the heaviest fight of all time. Over eight hundred pounds or something. Yep. And that's an official record, eh? Eight hundred. Yep. Hmm? Eight hundred. <laughs> eight hundred. Oh my goodness! Now, as we predicted. Wings of Redemption actually looking good. Like, watch as he feigns some jabs. Watch this shit. He goes, jab, jab, boom, dude. Did you oh. see that? Wait, oh, that's right. good, yeah. That's what I was saying. This man can move. All right, Butterbean. <laughs> right. Boogie is out of his element. In fact, I think Wings of Redemption might have a future here. Look at this. He's like, where are you at? And Boogie taking a step. Yo. So I think Boogie attempted one punch in this whole fight. These boys have some heavy hands. <laughs> Boogie just said, wow. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm, I'm kind of interested in his mannerisms throughout. He's trying to tell him to ch chill or something. But like, he's like, it's happening. <laughs> Dude, wink. So. Look at his face. He's like, yo, why'd you hit me? <laughs> right. This would be me. I'd be like, dude, what the fuck was hey, that all about? Rude, rude. That's the most uncommon. I mean, the most common thing new boxers do is close their eyes. I had a problem with that for a long right. time, closing my eyes because it's, it, the it's just natural. Yeah, to turn yeah. your head and close your eyes. Right. But uh, you can tell that Boogie did zero, zero preparation for this, and it seems like Wings actually. Right, AB. I mean. I mean. He, I mean, he practiced something. It's not traditional, like when he had his, but. I don't know. Either was I was when I was in the ring, so going for body shots. So so watch Boogie. He's like, the fuck is going on? Here? Man, this fucking sucks. <laughs> I can't believe this is real. I don't know. Damn, this should actually hurt. So they're they're about to tape him. <laughs> I can't believe it's real. Okay, so we'll wait for this, Zach. Uh, at this point, Boogie's pants are falling down and they have to duct tape his pants up. <laughs> On those, um, yes. <laughs> Wait, they arrived on mobility scooters? <laughs> yeah, they yeah, arrived. That was pretty funny. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Up is 
Zach. Oh, it's there. <laughs> you get a close up here, Zach. Buggy did. Buggy won that one at least. Well, we've got to get the shorts right. Here, see, the, it's just. So, so the strings aren't working, so they have to get. They have to get some kind of tape. Some weight probably training for this fight. Right, I guess that maybe that is because he lost some weight. Okay. You know? Weight loss king. Shorts. Oh, Kim had almost a funny joke here. Here goes. He goes. Training for this fight. It looks like they're taping him up, taping those shorts. Oh, no. No. No jokes. No, he. Trying to avoid this London crowd from seeing a full moon. <laughs> okay. Grateful for that. <laughs> Seeing a full moon on a boogie yeah. night. Yeah, yeah. And it looks like they're taping him up here. Taping his oh, pants this is awesome. to him. This is what I like full to moon see. Full moon on a boogie night. Yeah, it, boogie night. Kim goes, this is awesome. This is what I love to see. <laughs> is this a boxing match? What, what are we doing here? <laughs> Look here, Zach. <laughs> There you go. You <laughs> do what you got to do, what you gotta you know, do, you know? Bro, this is real. This can't be real. Oh I refuse awesome. to believe it. <laughs> yeah, that's what people said, but Keem had a vision, and he made it possible. <laughs> it's true. Shout, all right, shout out Keem's star for <laughs> I mean, this is better content than he usually <laughs> makes. Right. This is better than any drama eye. alert. He needs this, yeah. man. He is a future. <laughs> Shit. He's well, found his medium. Listen, apparently, both these guys are notorious recluses, and it's not easy to travel when you're that size. So everyone mm -hmm. was saying at least one of them is going to bail. So the <laughs> fact that he actually made this happen does seem to be somewhat impressive. He yep. chartered a military plane. <laughs> Oh, Zach. That is just Zach. That is just what? that is just inappropriate. What? What next? Did they throw him out with the parachute? <laughs> <laughs> like cargo? <laughs> oh. Oh. Operation <laughs> Dumbo drop. <laughs> 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 It's one of those moments I feel like it's going to be clipped. <laughs> I didn't say nothing. No, you're good. You're good. You're nothing chill. to nobody. You're good. I mean, listen. They're there f to be a spectacle. Everybody knows what's going on here. Mm -hmm. They're they're huge. I mean, everybody knows that. That's why this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I have a lot of love. You're I have dying. a lot of love and support for them for their size. Fucking A, dude. I think Boogie's kind of a douche. <laughs> Besides the size thing, that's got nothing to do with it. <laughs> Just patiently waiting. But Wings is a beast. <laughs> is not bad. No, like, he's a beast. Boogie is like he's got some athleticism to him. Boogie is just getting his ass beat, dude. I mean, let's remember, what, Boogie was what, 15 years older than him, and he's like 11, <laughs> 11, and he's going on 50. It's or like something? 49 versus. It's uh, really not fair. 48 versus 37. Yeah. What is the uh, weight difference between them? I think it's like 40 pounds, <laughs> around there. Oh man. Well, you know what they say. Once you get ultra heavyweight, the weight doesn't. Yeah, two hundred and up. To, yeah, doesn't matter. The we difference. don't. We don't distinguish. Oh, we made it. To the he, he lasted a round, right? Yeah. That's got to be a victory in itself, right? He made it through I mean, the first they round. To be very proud of themselves. They, you know, to, to, These are one-minute rounds, by the way. <laughs> on this kind of stage, after all they've been through. <laughs> Wings doesn't even look that tired. I'll be honest. <laughs> What? How is he moving like that? It's a right. Uh -huh. <laughs> Poor Boogie. He's not. He's just there <laughs> to get his ass beat. <laughs> Round two is just He's just a human punching bag, really. Dude, those punches probably fucking hurt. Oh, yeah, man. A lot of power behind that. Yeah, dude. That's for damn sure. Whoa. So the question is, how much more can he take? How much more of the pressure he's been taking so many shots that round? Will he be able to? And then, then they got to do him dirty with this shot. Oh, come on. Back to the taping. Punches and do some damage back to wings. We're yes. about to find out. 
Boogie's just got to go for it. He's got to get that Hail Mary punch in. <laughs> yeah, he needs that Falco punch, Key. I don't hear he's trying to throw a punch, so you... Okay, okay. Got some jabs in there. He's throwing some. He needs that, All right. that little Mac charge-up punch. Oh, man. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Yo. Standing eight. There we go. That's the right call there. Four. Absolutely. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. There it is. That was the right call from the ref. That was the right call. He's getting booed? Oh, by the ref. <laughs> they don't like that they called it. I mean, Boogies. it's probably was... Uh, and Boogie's best interest there. Yeah. Gonna be Even Keem was saying so. So They're going to be eating good tonight, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those people want blood. Yeah, they'll be hungry. I mean, they just did an athletic event. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am not laughing. I am not laughing. I just went. I I'm, just did a, I'm not laughing. Bro, I just did a whole speech about how I love and support the fatties. Mm -hmm. As one. Right. But I don't think I'm contradicting myself here. Uh, at all. Mm hmm <laughs> But I think it was the right call, and yeah. respect to these big men for getting in there. I mean, Absolutely. that's what this is all about, entertainment, and Keem, you've outdone yourself for this main event. Well, it's, it's, it's about doing the impossible, and that's what this fight was from the very beginning, to the training, the, uh, the diet, everything was impossible, <laughs> and it actually took place, it actually happened. You know what, respect for, actually, you know what, respect for Boogie. Oh yeah, definitely. Without a doubt. That ain't, that ain't easy, <clears throat> to get out there and just get in the ring, get your ass beat. So, good for him. He actually did, you know what I mean? Good for him. Mega dub. You know, Boogie definitely at a disadvantage physically coming into this match. He's got to be proud of himself for making it through that round. He tanked so much. You know, he could have gone down right away to one of those punches, but he stood there, he took it. And if, he, so if he fell, I genuinely think there would have been an ambulance. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even saying that. Maybe. I, I, you know, you can't fall at that size, bro. You're fucking popped like a water balloon. <laughs> and he got paid, right? Yeah, he said he. That's why he did it. Okay. Get paid. So hey, get the money. He lasted around, and that's good. Yeah, Wings had full control from the very. Do you know what? I'm not even kidding. Like I would Boogie like to see fine. Wings fight again. I would watch him fight again. I mean, it's probably Damn. hard to find other opponents. Damn, though. I disagree. I've seen no? similar stuff at Walmart. <laughs> Walmart parking lot. Yeah. You've seen this play out for free? Fights. But in the crater space, yeah, maybe. He's quite a bit bigger than Boogie, like, height-wise. Yeah, he's... Yeah. Why do they hate each other? I don't think they hate each other. I think they're just doing shtick. Mm. I yeah, think. No, they're, they're friendly. Yeah. Yeah, we know who won. It's our boy. The Wings of Redemption, who we love now. Redeemed. He's redeemed. I don't know what he did, but... You gotta watch that down the rabbit hole on him. It's really good. Okay. It's really good. Truly a, an interesting and bizarre character. And good sports. We love that. Oh, cut out right before. So that was uh, the big fight of the weekend, everybody. Apologies for those uh, jokes on my behalf. I just... I got a little lost in the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is actually fucking great. I was super curious how much he got paid. I was wondering, was it like three thousand or was it fifty thousand? So he said uh, he got ten thousand cash plus sponsor deals, free travel and room to London. I don't know that that counts as pay. I mean, it's the least they could do. A few perks that we can't disclose yet. All the self-respect I ever needed. Fuck you. He, but wait, he says, I, oh no. Oh my god. He had to pay for his own training. After medical and training, I came out negative. What? <laughs> Dude, you guys don't watch movies? Don't sign your soul to the devil. This shit happens every time it gets you. So you didn't get paid. You, they just paid for you to 
they fine. Su- subsidize or, part part of your training in medical. Yeah. basically. dude. Um, this uh, all, watching these these fights makes me realize how professional the crater clash is. Yeah, yeah. Like these fights are fucking medieval. They're f- yo, find me the clip of the dude doing the spin punch. That cracked me up so much. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was. I just actually. I'm oh, sorry. This guy said, "I respect Boogie less for that fight." I disagree. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> I disagree with that. I respect him for getting in there. It's actually really fucked up that he actually lost money That's... for risking his life. Hey, there's Keemstar for you, baby. Yeah, like how there much? Is... How much promo. did the? Uh... <laughs> they must have made so much money. And mind you, also their fight was a big pull. Everyone was wanting to watch. I didn't give a fuck about anyone else who was fighting. I was there for Boogie versus Wings. What's up, baby? I was going to say, Ian and Nisa, they pulled it off their first time, too. Like, it's <clears> not <throat> like... If you're just not a piece of shit, I feel like you can pull it off. Also... It, no problem. it wasn't easy, but... Also, their events for charity. And they still... You guys still had all your training covered and, us, and paid, too. Right? Yeah, we got uh, whatever was left over from the, the training money. But you, they also paid you a little bit, don't they? Uh, yeah, we got a little bit of a of a little bonus. Yeah, and it's for charity. These mm-hmm. guys made a fuckload of yeah. money, and Kim's like, "It's only one fight in him, you know. Let's burn his ass to the ground and check out." This is the quality of fighting that was happening at the Misfit events, bro. I cannot watch this. Counters hard. Every time Zuckle gets that moment, <laughs> that was so beautiful. This is a boxing match. You Such can't do form. a spinning backhand. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. Ballerina boxing. <laughs> it's insane. Counters hard. And every time Zuckle gets that moment, <laughs> <laughs> Why does he move so well, though? It's just nuts. It's swift. It's quick. Also, he almost hits the ref, and he slams him in the back of the head. It's just <laughs> so wild. Holy fuck, man. Oh, and then KSI fucking elbowed his opponent in the face, knocked him out, <laughs> and he still got the win. They didn't even penalize him for it. You gotta, you gotta pull that up. And every time Zuckle gets that moment, he gets oh, oh, I'm sorry. That is just... So out of pocket. <laughs> Every time I'm fucking spinning back in. <laughs> it is so ridiculous. Look at he fucking hit him in the back of the head. He made the choice to do that spin around. Oh yeah, hit. that was his secret move. <laughs> yeah, that was his Achilles heel. Did nobody tell him you're not allowed to do that? <laughs> Counters hard. This man thinks it's Mortal Kombat. Fuck here and then here is um Oh this is what I just opened. Yeah. Counters hard. This is so fucking good. Listen to the announcers uh, react to that. Whoa! <laughs> A spinning backhand. <laughs> we don't see that every day out here. Every time Zuckle gets that moment, he gets oh, oh, he has a spin oh, move on him. <laughs> Not sure what. <laughs> oh, you got to get me the KSI elbow. That there shit was insane. It. Isn't Zuckle's part of Misfit's crew too? <laughs> like <laughs> all of their organizers. <laughs> I think one so. of their own is out there doing back fucking spinning backhands. Yo, so here's I, KSI. I think so. Yo, check this out. KSI got this knockout. Okay. And then took the dub. The judges didn't say anything. And he's just like, no, I didn't elbow him. Watch this. I'm a man. He's a boy. <laughs> Wait, you, you, the slow-mo. It's so fast, yeah. You can really only the sl- there's the certain slow-mo. angles. Oh, you can find me angles where he's just straight elbowing him in the fucking face. Yeah. Check this out. His life, and that was it. And then it was only when I went backstage. So I haven't seen the replay at this point. And you know, I was talking to Slim 
and Dean the Great uh, before I went backstage. And they were like, yeah, nice KO, but I think it was an elbow. And I was like, what? I, there's no way I would elbow him. Why would I do that? It just makes no sense. Like, I'm winning the fight. I can understand if I'm losing the fight and I'm desperate. And you know, even then, I'm like, how would I elbow and it not look, like, intentional? It's just weird. So I went back, looked at it, and I was like, bro. Yeah, just show. I just want the slow mo. I think I just found it. Yeah, I got it. Up from the different angle. These... So here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, are these two different ones? I guess the one I sent is the one that you sent us the other night. Okay, cool. Watch this shit. Jesus. Let's have a look. Right here. <laughs> Oof. I mean, he just straight up elbowed him in the fucking face. Oof. Yo. And then, it's spectacular. Nobody says anything. Oof. The judges don't say anything. I mean, to be honest, when we watched it in real time, it was so fucking quick that I'm not totally surprised that they didn't realize at the time. <laughs> what? I mean, it's Professional obvious. Professional judges? It, Come on. Yeah. Everybody was talking about it. <laughs> oh my god. I, I don't think it was intentional though. I think No, he, I don't either. Yeah. I don't either. It's it just missed hook, it looks like. I don't think it was intentional, but it, I just thought it was funny. Like mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know enough about boxing to know, like because the fact that they were sorta he had the other guy had his arm around him. I don't know if that makes it okay in that particular circumstance or what. Well, most people are saying it should have been no contest, which basically means it's just like a wash. Mm -hmm. And I guess KSI agrees after seeing the, the playback, which is good. Replay, okay. It looks like I just hit him with my elbow and like, oh, uh, you know, hit him with my forearm. And I'm like, at that point, I'm just devastated. That's all I think about. And I'm like, this has ruined all my hard work. Like, just, it's, it's so annoying because I worked so hard. And then, you know, I... Bro, like, I look back at the fight and I look so good. Second round, I did hmm. everything right. And I believe him. Yeah, I mean, I, the little bit of the rest of the fight that I saw, he definitely looked really good. And from what I was reading, everybody thought he was easily winning anyway. Yeah. So that does kind I mean, of you can even, suck for you him. You can tell in the clip that he's, he's dominating him. Yeah. So I guess just bad luck, but I just find it so funny that, like, they're like, yeah, no, it's fine. And then apparently... One more time. Tard. And every time Zuckel gets that moment, he's Whoa. Oh, a spin move on him. Whoa. <laughs> Not sure what that. Whoa. Okay, how that should be immediate disqualification, right? Because he, he actually elbowed him in the back Tard. of the head. That's super dangerous. Every time mm -hmm. Zuckel gets that And he that almost moment. hits the fucking oh, ramp. Spin move on him. Whoa. Not sure. I hate seeing that shit. Oh man, that's fucking great. <laughs> There was a, the last Misfits, someone tried to headbutt somebody. You remember that? Yeah. That event is crazy. But I guess that's why they love it. A little wild, it's a little strange. A little loud out on the range. You ever watch Hey Dude? If you can't get a zone, then you can't get along. Wow. <laughs> yeah. If you can't get a zone, then you're <laughs> song. So, I yeah. always hated it. Though. Yippee, me too. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I yeah. hated that. Yippee, show. Kai, Yai, what? <laughs> like the cowboy <laughs> sing. I can't believe you remember the whole song. I don't know why. I fucking hate that. I just that remember the part too. where they're like, hey, hey dude, dude, watch out for those killer cacti and tumbleweeds. <laughs> hey, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I hated that show. It's so awful. Horrible. Whose idea was it to make a show for kids about a dude ranch? Bro, I, I, they expect me to go from watching Rugrats yeah. to Hey Dude. Yeah, for people that are a little bit younger than us, it was the show on Nickelodeon dude. when we were kids. It was a live action, and it was like a sitcom about kids working on a, on a ranch. Hey, and, uh, dude. Oh, yeah, here's a... Watch out for the it. killer cat ties. J-R-H-N-B-R. There it is. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> what a weird concept oh, for a show. Wait. She's famous. That's uh Who? Isn't that the girl from Fuck, I remember them now. It's so such a blast from the past, you know. Mm -hmm. Look how terrible that graphic is they made. Look at that horseshoe. <laughs> like you all couldn't try harder than that. Well, 
It was like 1991 or something. Her, her. She's she's super Wait. famous. Oh, you're fucking right. That's, that's Ben, that's ben, ben Stiller's, Stiller's wife. Ex-wife. Yeah. Christine yeah. Taylor. That was her big break. Oh. What? She was on Hate, it's, dude. It's uh, Marsha that's, Brady. Yeah. That's her uh, right there. She was Marsha Brady. That's right. Yeah. From the movie, not from the From show. the movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, dude. Damn. It's her big break. I never realized that. You think that song's caught? Can you see if that song gets claimed? I want to fucking rock oh, that. It, almost. It definitely what? will, right? Who's claiming that shit? Hey, dude, theme song. I'm the literally the only person that remembers the lyrics to that. Yeah, I, I'm shocked. I remember the... Or not the only one. This has 1.3 million. I remember the uh, Salute Your Shorts theme song. You remember that one? Is Tom it for me? How's it go? It starts... Camp on Awana. We hold you in, in our hearts. hearts. There it is. And when I think about, about you, you, it, it makes, makes me wanna, wanna fart. Oh. No, and then he goes, it makes me wanna do art, say it right, or pay the price. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Bud, the camp counselor. Right? Yeah. He always had the 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 sunscreen on his nose. God man, those were the days, boy. <laughs> mm, those were the days. Hey, dude. Such a carefree de- time to be alive, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You time. know what show was from that same era that actually was so fucking good, though? Hmm. Pete and Pete. You remember that one? I do remember Pete and Pete, I yeah. loved that show when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah. I fucking loved that show. Nickelodeon was a, cra- was a wild place back then, boy. Mm-hmm. It got claimed. It got claimed? Yep. Yeah. Who was claiming this? Nickelodeon, probably. Bro, m- li- move on. <laughs> move on. Like, s- let me listen. Let me <laughs> let me live my life. Move on. <laughs> I- I'm so disappointed. It's a little wild. It's a little strange. When you're at home out on the range. Yeah, okay, it's just sounding a little more familiar now that you're... It's a grand funeral ride if you can't come along. I was always so If you can't get a ride, then you see in this song. Singing, yippee ki yay yay yippee ki yay what? Like the cowboys say. Sing to my ear now. yippee ki oh. It's claimed by Treasure Teens. You get the, it got blocked. They blocked it? Yeah. Yo, chill. Worldwide block. Wow. Chill. <laughs> Can we chat? Not that serious. No. Glad we did that. Can yeah. you imagine getting the whole episode blocked for that shit? <laughs> Fuck that. Daddy, chill. Yeah, so there it is. There uh, it is. Congratulations to Wings of Redemption, who soared his way. Would you call what he did soaring, uh, Zach? Would you say Wings of Redemption soared his way to victory? Back. Uh, I'm pleading the fifth here, <laughs> Your Honor. Think carefully. Mm-hmm. Cargo dropped his way to victory. Uh, resupply incoming. <laughs> uh, Go ahead. Can you pull this off? I can't see Zach formulating his thoughts. Uh, again, Your Honor, I'm going to plead the fifth on Okay. That. Good man. Thank you, Dan. We got uh, Mr. Beast Neighborhood. Have we not talked about this before? I don't believe we so. We had an FBI agent. I recreated Willy Wonka's talk. <laughs> we are currently surrounded by countless sharks. Wait, are you serious? Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Is that yes, real love? I am. Yeah. Okay, so wait. Just, so wait, 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 wait. Yes, 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 dude. It's okay. So, love, read, read it. So, I got an email from my lawyer just, just literally during the show. So, I've been like having some back and forths, and I just got uh, my non-immigration visa application issued. Woo! It's official. Let's go. Woo! Holy shit. <laughs> Bruh. One of us, one of us, one of us. Wait. We're fucking American. Wait, you baby. said you said non-immigration visa? Yeah, every, everything is it's, it's done, dude. It's GG. It's I got it. Is Im- would immigration means you're like moving here permanently? Is that what that mean? 
I got a got a got a visa for um, it's the work visa that went through. Yeah. Okay, so it's a non-immigration visa, which means you can't live here permanently. Right. It's three years. Although you can, if you just if you if you work here for us for three years, you can apply for green card. I yep. think. And then once you yeah, have a green, for a while. then when you have a green card for three years, it, you can apply for citizenship. That's what Ela did. Yeah. Oh, Emo did. He's coming home. He's coming home. Yeah, get that Swedish Bro. life out of here. We got Chick Fil A and Taco Bell waiting here for you, boy. Zach, hit that R Kelly. Zach, hit the R Kelly right now. Hit that R Kelly. Hey, bro, what's your no, shot I mean, status? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm juiced up, eh? Bye. You're all juiced, juiced up, up boy. I'm juiced up, bye. He's got it. Bye. Bye. Do you I'm have not gonna sing it. Sports? Did you get your shots? Girl, would you like to come back with love to America? This is me to love. America. America. <laughs> Do you have your passport? Passport. Did you get your shots? <laughs> Girl, yeah, would you like to come show. back with Ethan to America? Yes. I'm coming. I'm coming. America. In my room. He's coming oh, there. Beautiful. <laughs> I made it, dude. I made it. Oh my god. To America? The hacking dog. I got it, dude. Fuck. That's crazy. He's coming home. That's one and a half years in the making. Holy moly. God damn. He's Boy. coming home. Yeah. We got a desk. Where's he going to sit in here? We got to set him up a you desk and shit. Uh, we're shit. out of room, so. I don't know. We got to set you up a permanent seat in here, love. <laughs> shit. God we'll damn figure rest, it out. Or, well, we did talk about the idea of keeping you on the blood bot and you just sitting. Yeah, you could be in the could be at utility home. closet. Yeah, I'd be at home. There's mm -hmm. plenty of space mm -hmm. around here. I need I need a friend back here, anyways. Too. That's true. You know? The Cam and Love Show, yep. little mini show back there. What's the first thing you're gonna do when you arrive in uh when you get here? Uh, well, I have gotten on that question so many times, but Buy an it's kind of anticlimactic. I I, I just want to be there without stressing, without like having to always think about am I gonna get? It? I just literally want to be there. It, it's weird. Just wants to exist. Just let him live. I want to, yeah, I want to live. But also Chick Fil A and that's uh, what I was at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chick Fil A and Taco, 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 Taco Bell, Bell. Bell. and yeah. mm. all mm. that shit. Yeah. Buy an AR-15 is pretty good advice from Dan. Yeah. Right. Right. Is right. he is an immigrant allowed to buy a? Hell yeah. AR-15. Yeah, I, I have rights. I have rights. Garn yeah. Garnet. Yeah. No, I know you're gonna have... buy an intervention from Modern Warfare Two. I have no idea if that's true or not. I mm. bet they can. Why? You know what I mean? It's America. I doubt my brother-in-law Muhammad could get one. Muhammad could no, <laughs> not Muhammad, but Love could. <laughs> love could get a whole ass arsenal. Very nice. Let's yes. go. Damn, wow. so uh, a valid alien registration or I ninety four card is required at the time of purchase of a firearm. So yeah. you're good. You can buy an AR. You got love. Proper documentation. You're good, Hell brother. Yeah. That's you fucking awesome, dude. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Thank Congrats. you, everyone. For making this possible. Yes. It's, uh, yes. yes. Weird. It's so weird. I guess uh, time to start making some plans, and then I don't know how long it's going to take you, but but uh, time to start making some plans. Oh yeah, boy, I'm going to be making plans. All right. Oh, he's Hell planning. Is your dad, he's the is your dad sad to see you go? I know you live with your uh, dad. You know what? My parents are extremely, extremely supportive of whatever I choose to do. So uh, they're very sad, of course, but. They've been nothing but supportive. They're happy because uh, you're happy. Exactly. Lovely. Yeah. I can see as, how... as a parent, it's both the bitter sweetness of yeah, your yeah, child yeah. achieving what they want and also yeah. not yeah. seeing them. Your parents are going to have to come visit, be on the show and stuff. Oh, yeah. De oh, okay. Maybe not the second part. But... <laughs> your dad sounds <laughs> awesome. And your well, mom's hot, if I remember. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh. No, all right. You got me good Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love my parents. Mm, that's good. Wow, very exciting. This is very exciting. Yeah, and thank thank you guys for making this all this possible. This is very very exciting.
very, very like this is like people say is you get life changing news. This is literally life changing. I'll be moving. My yeah. life is like forever changing. It's yeah, um, yeah it's wild. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Sars oh, thank you. Everyone. I heard, Sarsparilla. and if you're looking for a place, I heard the Cecil has really good rates. Right, Cecil Hotel. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've heard of that too. I wonder um, how much it actually costs to do a month at Cecil. It's, uh, it's, it's a homeless shelter now, I believe. Or, oh, you can't even stay there? No, you can't stay You have there. to be homeless. Well, technically you're homeless. homeless. <laughs> you might qualify. Yeah, I am homeless. Or, yeah, yeah I am. Hey, do you, wow. If you need a place to stay when you arrive, you can stay with us. Really? Yeah, of the course. mansion. Well, you're probably going to need a place to crash, right? Until you figure. Yeah, it for out. the first couple of days, definitely. I yeah. told you two weeks. I've always told Love. <laughs> he has two weeks. He can stay with us. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Uh, Max, that. you can stay with us as long as you need. We have a we have a guest house where it's separate, and you'll have privacy, and you can do whatever well, you want the, there. From everywhere in my room. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, of that. Of course. God bless. Internet sucks wow. there, though. It's not that bad I mean, there. If, if you're trying to play COD or whatever, just just heads up. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I know the priorities. You know. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Wow. Okay, you don't shit. know that, Dan. I do know that. You're talking shit at my oh, pool whoa. house. The internet? No, your whole house. The internet kind of sucks. Though. What? Yeah, no, it's not. Whoa, good. That's whoa, bullshit. Whoa. Don't listen to him. No, I'm not. Why would listening you lie like that? I'm not lying. I, I take. That I worked personally. in your house for like two years. Oh, because <laughs> right. But well, we did the we did all we hosted a whole ass yeah, fucking man, operation that. from my from my residential internet. Mm -hmm. That's not that's pretty good. Okay. You know, big difference between that. You want that low? Pod. Why are you slandering my internet? Are you, you want are that you, low ping? All I'm you, saying. The well. service is horrible, but I haven't had problems with the internet there. Jesus Christ, he's offering me a place to live. <laughs> chill out, dude. <laughs> yeah, Dan. I'm uh, I'm gonna accept that with um, open arms. Yeah. Uh, but I'm then, gonna, you know what? No, love. I'm gonna talk to. Uh, I don't. I don't remember who's my service <laughs> provider. I'm gonna talk to them and I'm gonna make sure <laughs> that that pool house is buzzing. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! That's awesome. <laughs> wow, this is crazy. Wow, I have not processed it yet. I, I, I will be doing some crying after the stream. Uh, shit. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Evan. We'll have to hit up Dave and Buster's and shit when you get here. Shit, come on. You guys going next week or when, when was it? I, I'm heading out now. Dropping we'll, go, we'll go. We'll go. We'll do the Saddle Ranch, Dave and Buster. God damn, dude. We can go to Taco Bell. Yeah. Ooh. Sit, that one. sit in the you, restaurant. You know. Damn, I'm gonna start food prepping with Taco Bell like I did before too. Shit. Oh shit! <laughs> food <Yeah>. prepping. <laughs> I did that shit. I, I like bought a bunch and I put it in my fridge. No, I remember oh, yeah. you said that. That's pretty wild, That's brother. Sick. That's sick. <laughs> nice. life. You live in that young man's life, boy. Yeah. How old are you? You're like 23. I'm 22. Yeah. Yeah, that's a mm -hmm. that's a young man's game. Meal prepping. Yeah, tacos. I got a, right. I got a couple couple years left. Yeah, you you've got a solid like three years before. Mm -hmm. That starts to you start to feel the right. repercussions of that around mm -hmm. twenty five. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You start to I'll worry that. about that later. Oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, I used to, I used to meal prep fucking when I was in college and I was living on my own, or I was in a house with a bunch of people, but I had my own room and we didn't really talk to each other. But what I would do is, I would do this crazy buy one get one, and I would store an ungodly amount of pizza. <laughs> Probably could feed twenty people. Hell yeah. And I would eat it all over the course of a week. That's what's up. I'd do that. Um, like, but if I, if I did that now, I, no, I, I, no I don't even know how to describe it. I think I, that I would probably die. I would right. be having diarrhea. I would be having crazy heartburn. I would be feeling like slow. You might find me dead. You're describing me right now. I had pizza <laughs> last night, and I feel like fucking shit today. So you had pizza last night. I had the fucking runs multiple times. I have an Dude, awful heartburn. That's it. it oh. That happens to me. I can't even eat pizza anymore without but, a uh, dire consequence. But you're so right, though. I never had this before. I turned no. 25. Exactly. When, before 25, mm -hmm. you're like, "What's wrong with pizza? It's great. Right. It's fuel. It's energy. I feel great. Yeah. No. It's it's fucking shitty now. Not to stun on you guys. I ate an entire Red Baron frozen pizza to myself yesterday, and I'm feeling great today. <laughs> well, it's vegetarian. Think it's that? Just like no pepperoni? That makes you know what? 
there are different levels of of heaviness because mm-hmm. if you order right. out they go so fucking hard with the grease and the ch- yeah. and the bread yeah those frozen ones are got to be like a third of the calories of like one of those masks. okay so maybe it's not really the same as slamming a, a domino's or whatever but uh, props to you for being a man of the people and eating a frozen pie <laughs> no fucking problem you're a good fucking man for doing mm. that did you microwave it or put it in the oven no oven you got to do the oven microwave yeah. Why'd you say that? There's I, there's there's all <laughs> the crazy fucking people out there. I don't know. I, I mean there are those little Are you one of them? Microwaveable. No. God no. <laughs> I have a, a nice air fryer that, Okay, that's you know, cool. Yeah, yeah. Love that. That's nice. That's nice. Love. You know you know, this is crazy. And to make it even crazier, I've never lived alone. I'm <laughs> I've lived uh, with my parents up until now. You're now a I'm young man. It's like you're going off to America college. That's a, yeah. that's yeah, a big really jump. Is. And I'm res- you're like a dependent on me now, bro. You know that? Hello. Hell yeah. I've got to like fucking look after him. <laughs> I fucking own you, yeah. bro. Be left <laughs> yeah. alone. You, you know what? Uh, if um, you like go fuck, I, I, if you kill someone, I, I think that might come back on me. Well, I won't kill anyone, but no, yeah, seriously. So. Or well, if he like, if he runs up a bunch of debt and like disappears, I think I have to pay it off. What? Because you're like sponsoring <laughs> yeah. him or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. No, you, you <laughs> for sure. So. But but also the other way around. If you fire me, I'm out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, I like I'm that. Out. Mm-hmm. God yeah. damn there you go. Right. You yeah, better you will, be. You better you stay that eat. simp. You better just keep yeah, simping, yeah, boy. Uh, I will. I will. Is that right? If I fire you, you have to leave. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. That's hardcore. Yeah. That's why um, fucking Elon Musk is so fucked up firing a bunch of people on Twitter because a lot of those uh, employees were from like. Asia and stuff like that. Oh, what? Just firing them and they get fucking deported. Oh, I didn't know that angle. Just yeah. upending their whole lives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, I'm so excited. I'm happy for you, love. You're a good man. Thank you. And uh, a valued part of the family. We love happy it. For that. Very Thank excited. You. Yep. What if I get. What if I get permanently banned? I guess I'm still technically employing you as long as I'm paying you. Right. Yeah. Exactly. As long as we're I'm employed. I'm but you good. have a you have a more vested interest than even any of these guys in making sure I don't get Yeah, we gotta give love the button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll take control of the buttons. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, that's funny. Wow. Awesome, man. Congratulations. Yeah, congrats. Thank that, you guys. That's so cool. Very cool. Yeah, you can stay with us as long as you need. It's all good. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thank no, you. No Thank pressure. Thank you very, very much. Do you have a license? Oh, yeah, you do. Driver oh, license? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So so <laughs> we're going to have to get you a car and shit? You need a yeah. car in LA. Right. Well, I mean, you guys have multiple cars, right? I can just borrow one. You can, you can, <laughs> take, you can take mine, love. <laughs> oh, yeah. sure. Thank you. Thank I you. don't have any cars going spare for you at the moment. Ah, oh, damn. Don't even have spares. Not, I, I I enjoy cars, so I got, I'm gonna find a nice nice car on, on my own. Yeah, I think it's easy to convert the license. I think you you don't even have to do any tests or anything. I don't think. From what I've yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wonder what's the driving like here compared to Sweden. Like you know you know um, Cam drove me around a lot, and it's very different. But I I think I'm fine. I I have I, I've I've been driving motorcycles, cars <laughs> for ever since I was like 14. So I should be good. Well, how is it different? Uh, well, more. It's just more and more, more cars. hectic. Yeah. Yeah. Cam well, was LA new is... driving at the time. Right. There's that aspect too. Yeah. yeah. Cam mean, was a new driver. Oh, that makes it even that's intense. New new well, driver. Yeah. He did good. He did good for being a new driver. I can't imagine being a new driver in LA. Jeez. I don't yeah, really think crazy. we ever talked about that on the show, but yeah, I got my license the week before I moved here for my job. Oh shit. Yeah. LA is a fucking crazy place to drive. Yeah. There's the thing that that's like besides everyone driving like super fast and maniacs on the freeway and just tons of cars, there's exits here. The amount of exits and freeway yeah. changes and stuff can really fuck you. Yeah, no, yeah, I noticed when I was driving with Cam, but I, I think I'm good. I, I yeah, you'll be, fine. Of, you'll be fine. Drive air hours, so yeah. There it is, love. Got them. Coming to America. What a, what a day. What a day. There it is. Congrats, man. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, speaking of uh, employees having 
moving, we're going to talk about Mr. Beast's neighborhood. <laughs> I like that you picked up the soundbite exactly where you cut it off earlier. <laughs> Good continuity there, Zach. So people are, again, so, so the story is, I guess, that Mr. Beast brought, like, a, bought a whole ass neighborhood in North Carolina for him, his family, and his employees to live in. Some people are calling it cult-like. Now, I know property in North Carolina is a lot cheaper than here in LA, so I don't know. I think it's like 200000 for a house there. Is that right? He bought his house in 2018 for uh, 300K, 320K. I gotta say, that's like insanely modest for him. Yeah. And yeah, he apparently doesn't live in like a mansion or anything. He still just lives yeah. in just a regular, regular house. And then he bought another one, and uh, the second one in 2020 for 260. Dude, yeah. What a salt of the earth. It doesn't seem like he's at home very much, based on how crazy his videos are all the time. So, okay, based on that, so many, how many houses do you think he bought? He could have bought a hundred houses for like thirty million. He bought five, and the remaining three. Oh, he that's bought it. One point five, one point four five combined. So he only bought five? That's not that bad. That's not that crazy. Yeah, he's trying to get one more. There's just one house left on the block. Well, it depends. Who's living there? Like a bunch of like, uh, is it like uh, some kind of weird uh, cult where everybody, there's like a hundred people in one house and they all like have <laughs> I don't think murals so. of I think it's Beast. just I think it's just his like crew and employees, you know? Oh, then people are way overreacting about this. Well, there's kind of two levels to it. There's people that just think it's culty to have all of your employees live in a ho in houses that you own, which okay, fair. I don't think he's making them move there. Right? No, I <laughs> that that would start to feel a little culty. It's like a you guest room. It's a, it's like he, it's like a guest room. He's like, I got a whole house you can live right, in. right. And then the the other level of it is people making comparisons to uh, it being like a company town, um, which you know is like historically when companies would own the whole town but i think a key distinction of a company town is that they also own all of the stores and your employees get paid in coupons basically fun to the store yeah to fun bucks to the stores um which obviously is not what he's doing at least yet <laughs> maybe uh maybe it'll be feastables only uh in a couple years but as of right now i don't beast burger and feastables town. beast bucks. and beast water yeah beast bucks beast bucks <laughs> um I do think, yeah, I can see it being in a ghost town. That place is definitely going to be abandoned someday. What? The that neighborhood? Na Beast, the Mr. Beast neighborhood? Hmm. It's going to be a ghost town. I'm you, sure of it. You'd just sell it off, right? Wait, is it just in a normal neighborhood? Yeah. yeah. yeah it's like a all, residential block. I don't see a big deal here. The, there remains just one holdout house, which Donaldson's former neighbor attributed the family likely wanting their kids to finish school oh so he's going door to door and just being like sell me your house mm -hmm. yeah but why he, the fuck don't they ask for more money from him the, the article says that they did he bought them over market like none of the ones that weren't on the market he just like approached them with a the cash offer significantly over what the market price would be and they took it because why, why it says not? the remaining three he paid 1.45 million which is like half a million so that seems like a lot more than the right. other idiots got dummies you got Mr. Beast trying to buy your house. You didn't hold out. I mean, if they didn't like and know the neighborhood, and yeah, their kids go to school and don't want to switch schools or whatever, I could see not wanting to do it. Oh yeah, no, I can see not wanting to do it. I'm just saying the people that sold out cheapo. Oh, really suckers. fucked up suckers. Suckers. The idea is to boost productivity. That's a little creepy. <laughs> <clears throat> that that part of it is weird. That's like the Google thing where they're like, we have kitchen and gyms and places you can sleep. We don't want you to leave. Yeah, it's yeah. so comfortable here. It's amazing. In fact, you don't ever even need to go home. They act like it's this good thing. They have world-class chefs cooking for us. <laughs> so we don't ever have to leave. Right. We can keep working all the time. It is a weird position because if you, if you <laughs> came in here and you were like, okay, guys, I want to do two episodes a day from now on mm -hmm. 
Um, and I know that's a lot to ask, but listen, I bought the whole neighborhood and I have a four bedroom house. <clears throat> it's yours, Dan, but we got to do double the amount of content. But he's not giving them the house. He owns the house. They're just no, no, no. There. Like, but it's a four bedroom house. It's yours to live in. So you would consider that? I mean, I guess not. It's just like a, that does sound. It's pretty gnarly. Like the reality, and but and obviously that's not a one for one with. I don't know what Mr. Beast is asking. I mean, it's not a bad. It's not a bad analogy. I'm sure yeah. Ethan's like love is already living in the backyard. <laughs> he's in the pool house. <laughs> <laughs> he's out there juicing. Yeah, I don't know. The boost productivity thing is a little creepy. You're right. That does sound work is not sil very Silicon Valley. Yeah, it's like you gotta. People need to have their life. Uh, yeah, right. You know. Right. But at the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal either. Uh, some people were in defense of Mr. Beast while others criticized him, and even compared him to a slave owner. Mm. Yeah, Mr. I don't see a, that. I don't see a that. little far. It's a little far. Wage slave owner. I mean, it does create a weird, that's, you know, we were joking about it with love earlier, but it does create kind of a weird dynamic where your boss owns your house. And then and if you like, fuck up or leave, then you lose your house. Yeah, you don't just lose your job, you lose your house. Not good. Yeah. It's not a good I situation. I, I know when Mr. Beast was in some kind of a hot water before for firing someone, he said that he paid that employee for, like, he said, you, you'll, you're going to be paid forever, or like, for the coming years, even though you're not working a for A severance, it. a huge severance, yeah. Yeah, like an insane severance. Mm. Um, so I, 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 I feel like he wouldn't just kick them out, you know? No, I don't. But it's a, it's a weird dynamic. Definitely. Maybe you want to leave and do something else, but you're like, fuck, though. I've got this house. Yeah. I guess that's not his problem. If the conditions are so good, people don't want to leave. Uh, Mr. Beast responded to a hate comment on Twitter. He said, only I could get canceled for giving people a place to live with no strings attached. All these company town tweets make no sense. I was just helping some people. Yeah, the company town comparison is not a great one because there was a lot more to a company town than just providing housing to employees. Um, him saying provide a house with no strings attached, though, I mean... That's well, they not, have to work for him. Yeah, that's not really true, right? Like, there are strings attached. They might be reasonable, but it's not like you just gave them a house. Like, if you gave them the house and gave them the deed, then yeah, then obviously that's extremely generous, but there's definitely a string there. He said, uh, this guy tweeted out, this actually got 90,000 likes uh, when it was screenshotted. What a nice man. Surely a CEO buying homes and creating neighborhoods for their employees' families has no historical relevance or background at all. Right. So they're referencing the company town thing. And then he responded, only I could get canceled for giving police a uh, place to live with no strings attached. But then again, it's like, why do they need a house? Just pay them, just pay them well, and they'll, they, people can get their own fucking place and live where they want. Like, what's the right. need? What's the need there? The need shouldn't exist the need the need is like you said it's that oh, we, we can get so much more done if the whole team lives on the same block and you know no in the morning we no commute we can just pop across the street have a meeting you know what i mean so you know there is a there is a benefit to it from his perspective okay what's did air did uh Erdo, Erdo, erdogan erdogan hmm? did he win Last I saw, uh, he was ahead, but not by enough to avoid a runoff. Uh, I don't know what the latest is. He's a fucking psychotic freako. See that it looks like there will be a runoff. I just see it like trending big time right now, and I know the runoff was already announced yesterday. Hmm. Is this guy capable uh, of rigging elections in Turkey? Because I know he's basically a... I... You know what? We should talk to Hassan about it because yeah. he knows a lot more about it than I do. Yeah, I should. All the, all the feedback that I've seen is that Turkey is like, it's not super duper rigged, but it's like a little rigged. Okay, like Which ours. Which frankly sounds like ours, yeah. exactly. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, uh, there it is. Uh, Mr. Beast's <laughs> Neighborhood.
Won't you be my, won't you be my, won't you be my neighbor? Here's Mr. Beast in a month. Going door to door. This man shows up at your door. What do you do? I'm going to spend the next 50 hours buried alive. Il y a plus de 100 dollars. Il y a plus de 100 dollars. J'ai tracé un cercle géant. Rendé un cuarto de hotel de ouf. We are doing a Lamborghini race. <laughs> love it. We love Mr. Rogers. We love it. We love Mr. Bruce. Oh, you guys, this is a great update. Weights and fish guy? They went. They got sentenced to ten days in ten days in jail. We One day for fish. each pound. <laughs> that feels like that feels like a fair punishment for for the crime. You know what? I personally feel the crime was more significant. <laughs> you think it should go? Away I for do. Longer I actually do. Days. I think they should have gone away for longer because again, mm. listen to this. They won a hundred and thirty thousand dollar boat by cheating. Uh, uh right. Yeah. They got caught putting weights in fish. You guys all remember this iconic clip? Mm-hmm. I want you to leave. I don't want anybody to touch you guys. I want you to leave. We got weights and fish, dude. In a of events at an Ohio fishing tournament, it was revealed that the winning group had allegedly stuffed their catches full of weights. They would have received almost $29,000 had they... Okay, whatever. What is this clip? What the fuck is this clip? It's, it seems to be a news story about it. We got weights and shit! <laughs> um, anyway. So, uh... Both men pleaded guilty to a felony. Felony cheating. Damn. That's awesome that that's a thing. Rung up. Felony cheating, boys. We got him cheating. <laughs> this man had a card up his sleeve. Felony like cheating. Right. Like I'm cheating, right? Uh, Jacob and Chase were sentenced to ten days in jail, as well as their fishing license suspended. What does that mean? Can't you just get another fishing license? It's not like they're no, they're blacklisted, dude. They no more fishing. Ain't no more fishing around here. Mm -hmm. What about in a different state? Can I fish in Louisiana? Their Bass Pro Shop membership's been revoked. <laughs> <laughs> right. Damn. Tragic. <laughs> there we go! Bring him up! This guy's the... <laughs> dude, this guy rules. I love him. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! It's not right what they did. It ain't right. It's, it's a felony cheating. Free my boy, dude. I support them. So, addition, uh, you support weights and fish? I support the weights guy. It's kind of... He's based. Fuck these fishermen. <laughs> I guess... Be my boy. Listen, in America... Solidarity. I'll tell... I'll, I'll join you for that. <laughs> you know weights what? Fish. We gotta free him. Power to the felony cheaters. <laughs> that guy who's all triggered, pissed off, guarantee you he's a Trump voter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Those guys Fuck are... Fuck them. Those weights and fish boys are big time Hillary supporters. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. In addition to jail sentence and the forfeiture of the prizes, the men will be serving one and a half years probation. He'll be subject to maximum fishing license suspension. What is the maximum <laughs> uh, fishing license suspension? In Ohio, specifically. That doesn't seem like that harsh of a punishment. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't allowed to fish around here no more. What happens if I do? You get like a twenty dollar ticket. So, uh, you know, that's the end well, of that story. That's big news. Yep, finally some that's, resolution. That's finally, justice. I've been waiting. Wait some fish, brother. I'll say you. There's nothing more American than doing whatever it takes to win. Right, exactly. They're heroes. Who cares? I put a couple weights in the fish. Weights and fish. I would have won anyway. Big. You see the size of this sucker? That seems like a total crapshoot, by the way. How do you catch a bigger fish than other people? It's just totally random, right? Uh, I don't know enough about fishing. To That's know sport, if, brother. If 
There's probably, I'm sure there's a degree hell no. of skill. Man, hell no. The way I jiggle my hook is real, real fancy. Well, it, it's not just about... You ever, uh, seen me, get, you, ever, you ever seen a real fisherman jiggle his... The, the, bite, the bite is a uh, luck, but actually reeling it in is pretty hard, right? Like, there probably is a decent amount They're not amount that big. Okay, let's see it you. It depends on the let's fish. Let's see you! They're not... Reel in a fish. I reeled in a fish when I was a kid. Okay. okay. We, need, we need an H3 fishing fish competition. over here. We got a fisher over here. We should go group deep sea fishing. Fishing competition. <laughs> Love, you want to go deep sea fishing? You ever done that? <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Let's go. You. Hell yeah. There's blue I whales coming up. Hey, blue whale season's coming up. Really? Mm-hmm. There's a blue whale season? Uh-oh. On, uh, yeah, right off the coast here. There's blue whales uh, migrating through the, through, the, through the Pacific off the coast of Cali. Hmm, that is cool. Blue whales are pretty cool. They're pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Love them Tum Coons. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, I don't know. Does Seaman, does he, do you know if he is in hotel management? Because they hear, well, I mean, I don't know. This one, hotel manager in Nashville charged with sucking on sleeping guest toes. Oh, no. Mm. Seaman involved in Socks. this? I could see him being a manager. I feel like he was sort of like Forrest Gump. He did everything. He's been everywhere. And so. Well, how else is he like Forrest Gump? Just he's had an exciting life. He was in the war. He was in Vietnam, like Forrest. Mm-hmm. You never know and what you're going to get. And Forrest Gump is uh, Italian. That may be true. <laughs> no, life was like a box of chocolates. Uh, here's the photo of the guy. I feel like this dude and C-Man would get on really well, though. This is the toe sucker. And so. My man. That's my boy. <laughs> huh. That looks like a toe sucker to me. The alleged <laughs> assault happened at 5 a.m. March 30th at Hilton. You would expect at a Hilton. Those are nice hotels. A little bit better service. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. Police said David, the night manager at the hotel, made a key card so we could enter guest's room. How do you think you're going to get away with that? Are you right. <laughs> By the way, when I'm at a hotel... I always fucking dead close ball, that, that dead ball. Shit. Nobody's coming sucking my toes. That's right. Imagine waking up and seeing that at the foot of your bed. Shh, it's okay. Shh, it's okay. <laughs> go, back to, go back to sleep. <laughs> I'm just the manager. He made a key card so he could enter the guest room. The guest said he woke up to find Neil sucking on his toes. And oh, immediately my. confronted him. Right, well, I mean, yeah. that's going to wake you up. That's what I'm confused about. Like, what was the plan he here? He couldn't resist. He probably peeped the toes, jizzed down his leg. <laughs> Sucks. And said, I must have those toes in my mouth at all costs. Good, good point. Yeah, he probably came in there, was going to be all stealthy, just look. But then he mm. couldn't, like, he couldn't stop himself, himself from sucking take a little mm. suckle. I don't want to victim suckle on them biggies. Listen, I don't want to victim blame, but this guy probably walked in wearing flip flops. Oh, he was, <laughs> yeah. it was tan just, feet. Just like Fresh and Fit said, he was asking for Hot, it. Hot, you know what I mean? Perfect fucking little piggies. Okay, now I'm not one to slut shame, but he kind of, if you didn't want your so toes sucked, you should have put on a sock. He should have had, yeah. yeah. Put on a fucking sock, you slut. Maybe wonder, two. Yeah, Double I wonder, up. Funnily enough, that follows the same logic. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if he eyes them during check-in, and then that's oh, how yeah. he, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. how he picks. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, Neil admitted to the police he had entered the room, but he claimed it was because he smelled smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, those toes are so hot. <laughs> this man, I caught you with my toe in your mouth. He didn't report the smoke to security, and there was no other reports about the smell. Huh. Well, oh. I mean, Here maybe the, the toe was on fire. He's putting it out. Yeah. Right. Uh, when right. officers <laughs> asked Neil where the key was, he said he threw it away. The key was not found. Neil was taken into custody at his home in Lebanon, Tennessee. Hmm. He's charged with aggravated burglary and assault. He's being held on 25,000 bond. Burglary? What? what? Aggravated he burglary. He stole his heart. His foot virginity. <laughs> he stole his foot virginity, yeah. Dude, that was awesome story, man. <laughs> that's fucking, now that's a story I like. <laughs> and here is uh, our boy, Neil from Nashville. Our friend, Our Neil, friend Neil, who bent over. Oh, when my no. friend Neil bent oh, wait, no. over, this wait, happened. Now I'm confused. It says Neil was taken into custody, but here it says his name was 
Maybe it's David Neal? Yeah, it's David Neal. Okay. Oh, his you got last away. name's Neal. You got the wrong guy. This boy, I'll let you suck my toes, boy. <laughs> you want it so bad, you can have it. Just make sure I'm sleeping. Oh. Like a little golem. Sneak it in there like Schmeagle crawling <laughs> on the floor. It, does. it looks like a fucking My precious toe. Fucked up hobbit. <laughs> you fools. <laughs> Schmeagle. He's been corrupted by the toe ring. You shall not pass! <laughs> I wish I had more info. It's a shame that we have to move on from the story. <laughs> I just want to keep talking. Should get him to call in. <laughs> I could, I could tell. Free our boy. You know what? Let's reach out. Let's I mean, reach out. Did he, did he post his bail? <laughs> like, yeah, you gotta do a fundraiser. Maybe, some Maybe yeah, we should pay his bond and then get him on the show. Man, I don't pay no twenty five thousand for that guy. <laughs> Hell no. I'd rather buy like ten Gatsby's. I, uh, I found out this guy shot his roommate in nineteen ninety six. The toe sucker. The toe sucker. Sorry. He shot somebody. Yeah. What in the Neil How had we a, gotta get him. Neil had a lengthy rap sheet that included voluntary manslaughter. Wait, he killed him. <laughs> yeah. Fucked. Holy shit. Oh my god. This man killed someone and he's working the front desk? So died. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Room service. That <laughs> is so fucking funny. Oh fuck me. Imagine waking up and thinking it's a sleep paralysis demon also. And then it's the right. manager no, really from there. downstairs. Tickling. This, Tickling this man killed toes. his roommate. Voluntary manslaughter for shooting his roommate. <laughs> During a fight in 1996. <laughs> Holy shit. What a cool dude. <laughs> five nights at Freddy's. Five nights at uh, the Hilton. Neil bent with, over. With Neil. <laughs> friend Neil. My friend Neil. Brennan reportedly suffered post-traumatic stress and struggled to get to sleep in the wake of the alleged toe-sucking incident. Oh no! <laughs> All right, Brennan, Neil I'm not. I'm trying to feel bad for you, but let me see your feet. Right. Just how just how hot are those little little? Puppies? Let me see security footage. Yeah. I wonder if he was pleasuring himself when he was doing it, or if it was like a hands-free ejac, hmm. right. or. You know, a lot, a lot of ins and outs, a lot of questions. Yeah. Based on what I understand from talking to Seaman, he probably wasn't jerking it. Mm. So, he was so, probably fully focused. So it was more like savor it, save it for the, uh, the masturbation later. Yeah, that's when you probably. Think back. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's yeah. probably it. Because he didn't get like an indecent exposure charge too, right? It was just the burglary and what was the other one? Uh, assault. Assault. <laughs> <laughs> so. Hmm. I like, theoretically, how does this work? So he creeps in at night, lifts the cover back away from the toes, or does he creep under the covers? Or the guy could have been having one leg out, one under. Well, that would have been fortunate for him, but like, like we can't half, assume that. Like a half Jesus, you know? Mm. Right. He was coming in there just to look, and then those feet were laying in the open, mm -hmm. and he just, you know... It's like a golden, like a golden treasure chest. Or this guy could be completely innocent. There, there was smoke. There was a fire. He put it out <laughs> with his mouth. He put it out with his mouth. The little, the little fire on this guy's yeah. toe. He's a hero. Yeah. We should be celebrating. And then shredded the key that he used for some reason. Well, no, that got that went up in flames in the fire. No, he said he threw it away. Oh, okay. What's the name of that? Fire. What's the name of that attorney representing Stephen Avery? Kathleen something. She like. I don't know. She does like, she takes up these impossible cases. Kathleen Zellner? Yes, Kathleen Zellner is about to represent the toe sucker. He <laughs> <laughs> can find a way. She's going to find like forensic dust in the corner that shows some combustion took place. Right. And suck. <laughs> and suck. So that's, that's a great story, man. That was good. Um... <laughs> we got more? He's got some images of him. This is him? That's him. My man. Here's the full picture. This dude killed someone. Yo, this dude killed somebody. Wait, is this younger one? When That's he... from his 93. That was for the manslaughter? Yeah. The oh, he's, he doesn't even so feel sexy. bad about this at all. This is Throwback Thursday. This dude killed Jeffrey someone. Dahmer's. And this, this man grew up 
he was totally well adjusted. Mm. Just relax. Just want to suck <laughs> on your toes. He recovered, you know. Some say he would. He was rehabilitated in prison. Rehabilitated. I'm also reading that when the victim reported it to hotel security, they didn't take him serious, so he had to call the police. Oh, <laughs> you know, that's like that's gotta hurt. Who's gonna believe that? I woke up and this motherfucker was sucking my toes. <laughs> that does seems far fetched. <laughs> it does seem a little wild. It's like something like out of some bizarre of Shining spinoff. Very good, Mr. Torrance. <laughs> um, how long we've been going? Three hours ish. Yeah, so we got the prices. Uh, obviously, we'll talk more about it. But in case you guys are curious, where, where was it, Sam? Did you send it in Discord? She did. Yeah, Here, I'll, send I'll, it. I'll send it again. Oh, thank okay, you. Got you. Mail for Sam. Mail for Sam. Oh, so, dude, there's a crazy story about mail for Sam that someone in the comments pointed out. Ian was eating mayonnaise on the show as a as a compromise to avoid talking about Sam. You remember this? It, it was literally mayo for Sam. Mm. Like, literally. Interesting. Am I right, Ian? That happened. Yeah, yeah, that, uh... I have my contract somewhere that I have. Right, we even signed a contract and everything. Right. Mayo for Sam. Mayo for Sam! So I'm gonna need you to stop talking about it. Oh, it's still, still... Yeah, that actually, works it, for me, well, for Christ's sake. Would you what do am it I supposed again? to do? Yeah, but you weren't supposed to talk about it. What was the terms if break, he broke the contract? Here, you here's have the, him on a technicality it was, hearing? Oh. It, it was to talk about the uh, Bachelor uh, segment anymore. <laughs> right. Because he went rogue. Here's the, here's the comment. Ian, Ian eating the mayo in that one episode was because he didn't want to talk about Sam, a.k.a. the wild card, at that time. So it's full circle because it was literally mayo for Sam. He downed that mayo for Sam. Wow. Excellent observation, Gabby. Can I can I say something and? Uh oh, no button. Are we? No, no, no I know. Okay. It's not, just usually when you I know, prefer, I can I say something, is I get a little tense. No, no, no. It's not that. It's not that kind of. Can okay. I say something? Can we do another season of The Bachelor? No. But it worked out so good. It like, didn't. look at Ian and Sam. Uh huh. Didn't work out so good in the case of my uh, right and brother-in-law and that. You just said it yourself. They went rogue. You don't remember how upset you are about all of that at the time? Well, it was good content. And, yeah. But I'm happy with the results. I mean, I and Sam is wonderful. I mean, look, she wouldn't even be in our lives. But Sam wasn't a, like a contestant on that. I know, but it brought her to his DMs, right? Well, because I, I DMed him about something else. But then I was like, oh, I should have applied for The Bachelor. Oh, because you put it, we put out in the world that, that Ian was single and ready to mingle, right? Yes. So, so you, you know, I think it's safe to say it would not have happened mm. without my intervention. And why I'll be the the best man when you guys uh, <laughs> so true. Get married. Ring bearer. Godfather. We'll see. We'll see. Godfather, two kids. Commit, yeah. commit right now. <laughs> On the day of your child's birth, <laughs> the day I become the godfather that I always meant to be. This child is my godson. I will look after him. I will teach him the ways. That's a fair point that you make, Ian. Mm-hmm. There's others, too. Um, also, I was trying to find the clip, but I can't. But there is a clip of you emphatically yelling the about clip. how the, for the, clip. the bachelor is over never again <laughs> right i wanted to throw that in your face but well i, I, I was thinking right that now. because every i was thinking that maybe it'd be a fun way to in, to bring love in uh, a bachelor with love and that's of course up to love right i gotta You're pass i'm way too socially awkward to do anything like that on the show well, no, think that about idea. it think about it <laughs> i'll think about it yeah <laughs> think about it yeah you know. I know. I know. I mean, listen, every time we've done it, it resulted in, ma well, not, sorry, not marriage, but love. Mm -hmm. Love. And your name is love. That's Whatever that means. <laughs> Don't know. No such thing as a coincidence. Knowing, knowing the way I'm hyping it, whoever wins is probably going to kill you or something. 
<laughs> yeah. It is possible. Two, two loves and one death. <laughs> Pretty good odds. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, so here's the prices, you guys. And tell me if you think this is crazy. I think it is. T-shirts, 20 bucks. That's insane. That's like cheaper than most people's merch. Yeah, that's true. And that's like beautiful designer luxury, okay? You're gonna love these t-shirts. Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? Uh, this sweatshirt here is $55. Hoodie, $60. Hats and beanies, $20. Three pair of socks. I think it's a three pair for 25. Is that right? It's a three pair. Shorts, 45. Sweatpants 55, is that good? I hope you guys think so. I, I swear to God, dude. We squeezed it. Zip up is, I think, also 60. Yeah, the zip up hoodie and the hoodie are 60. The socks are so nice, you guys. Great prices, okay. I'm telling you, why so cheap? <laughs> Be just because we, this is my special project. As prices go up, I says no. Our prices go down. No. You, you wouldn't expect it, but the, the, uh, we we want the people. <laughs> we are of, of the and people. they say, Zig, use that. Exactly. No. Like, Don't let them see Somebody's like, no. Ethan, no. we're losing tons no. of money. We need to raise the prices. No. No. Lower no. them. That's kind of no. what happened, dude. <laughs> and so all of our best people. He has a powerful business mind. No. <laughs> no. 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 All of the no. greatest minds, we came together and we said, how? And I said, listen, here's where we'll start. I'm talking a, a sweatshirt for 50 bucks. 55 is where we got. They're like, it can't be done. They says it cannot be done. I, I said, we're going to make this. it happen. So we go to the drawing board. We look at our current uh our current kind of template for the sweatshirt look at the fabric the weight of the fabric all the kind of pieces and stuff that make it more expensive every little thing makes it right. more expensive you know paired it all down it's but it's still so nice like you can see the fabric is just gorgeous gorgeous the colors are amazing and again we just crush the margin you know, mm -hmm. so that's I'm I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Someone says my Teddy Fresh hoodie is better than my quality for my essential ones. I I these these ones are top, dude. I'm telling you, they're so nice. That's what it is. Classics is what we're calling it. Beautiful. Did it? Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, pathetic loser Tucker Carlson posted this video announcing he'll be doing a show on Twitter now. Dude, of course Elon Musk teamed up with Tucker Carlson. Hey, it's Tucker. How much do you think he had to pay him? I mean, that dude was making like $60 million a year at Fox. Tucker. I hope he's not paying him. Oh, he is. You know he is. It'd be awesome if he wasn't. <laughs> Just well, why would funny. he do it? Because he could go work somewhere else and make a shitload. No, I don't think he can. He has oh, a non-compete. Non he hmm. can't be on another network. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. can he could have gone and done like Rumble or like some shit like that, though. Do you want to know how fucking insane our world is? Almost a million likes on this video. 130 Taka. million views. Taka. 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 This... Goofy, doughy, racist little bitch. <laughs> People actually care what he says. It's astonishing. Tucker Carlson, you often hear people say the news is full of lies. But most of the time... Your ass just got fired, by the way. <laughs> Stop with that chipper. Hi, I'm talking... No, you got fired, dude. Tucker. Tucker. Shut the fuck up. Hey, it's Tucker Carlson. Hmm. You often hear people say the news is full of lies. But most of the time, that's not exactly right. Much of what you see on television or read the New York Times is in fact true in the literal sense. It could pass one of the media's own fact checks. 
lawyers would be willing to sign off on it. It's been, it says nothing. It's literally nothing. They may have. But that doesn't make it true. It's not true. At the most basic mm. level, the news you consume is a lie. A bitch, lie. bitch, you are the news. The most popular newsman in the world, or no, in the country. I don't think the even that. It was just on cable news. He has the number one show. On cable news. Oh. I think like nightly new, ABC Nightly News or whatever. Oh, okay. rated than Tucker Carlson show. Was. I like how he goes, I'm not part of the media. So shout out always to David Muir on ABC. For two days, guys. They're the bad guys. The place I was two days ago, they're the bad guys. <laughs> right. Healthiest and most insidious kind. Facts have been withheld on purpose, along with proportion and perspective. You are being manipulated. How does that work? Let's see. If I tell you that a man has been unjustly arrested for armed robbery, that is not, strictly speaking, a lie. He may have been framed. At this point, there's been no trial, so no one can really say. But if I don't mention the fact that the same that man has been arrested sense, for... What he just said. Dude, his cadence is crazy. Like, the way he's just delivering this... He's really got that nailed in, that whole, hey, if I did this, you're being lied to. Fucking gobbles. The Gebbles. same crime six times before, am I really informing you? No, I'm not. I'm misleading you. And that's what the news media are doing in every story that matters. Is a little racist dog whistle there? <laughs> His whole example makes no fucking sense. He's like, he said, if I tell you this guy got arrested unjustly, but I don't that tell may you be true, yeah, because maybe he was framed or something, but it would still be a lie. And it's like, well, there'd be an omission, or not even. But so but he says, but he's been arrested five other times. He's doing this thing where it's like, okay, yeah, you killed the protester, but did you know that that protester committed a crime? Right, it's like exactly. he didn't know that when he killed him, fucko. Fucko. Every day of the week, every week of the year. Are they doing that about the, the homeless guy that got murdered in the subway? We never talked about that. We have not talked about that now, but yeah, there's a lot of that going on. And then now people are digging up his whole life story, trying to prove that he's a bad guy. Right, which maybe he was, but also you, he's probably still didn't deserve to get murdered for no reason. <laughs> even, yeah, being even a, if bad, he was guy a bad guy is not a death sentence. Right. I semi-checked. What's it like to work in a system like that? After more than 30 years in the middle of it, we could tell you stories. I was there two days ago and forcibly <laughs> removed. But I'm telling you, that's all part of the system that we all hate. The they were paying me $60 million. And they gave me a fat severance. Best you can hope for in the news business at this point is the freedom to tell the fullest truth that you can. But there are always... And here's my fullest truth. The bell curve is correct. <laughs> I want to reinstate the Klan and white men would never fight like that. Limits. And you know that if you bump up against those limits often enough, you will be fired for it. That's not a guess. It's guaranteed. Every person who works in English language media understands that. The rule of what you can't say defines everything. It's filthy, really. And it's utterly... I have not been able to say the N-word on air for 30 years. That is censorship at its most quintessential. I want to be able to say the N-word and all other racial slurs. It's a violation of my free speech. Then he pulls out like a white clan hood. And I'm putting... And I'm, now I'm becoming who I really am. Takes out a burning cross. Now I can finally speak my mind. And a noose, on the other hand, it gets crazier and crazier. Corrupting. <laughs> you can't have a free society if people aren't allowed to say what they think is true. Speech is the fundamental prerequisite for democracy. That's why it's enshrined in the first of our constitutional amendments. Amazingly, Cadence as of tonight... So well done, dude. Holy fuck. That's what I'm saying. Who Like, his audience watched this? <sighs> Who cares? They like, it got liked a million times. There aren't many platforms left that allow free speech. The last big one remaining in the world, the only one, is Twitter. Where we you gotta fucking love that, man. Twitter. 
It's the last place for free speech. Unless you're Ethan Klein making fun of its owner. Unless you goof on the owner, it's the last great place for free speech. Unless you're the opposition party in the Turkish election. Right. You know what's funny, or not funny, but real interesting. Um, Twitter has been complying with government requests to remove content like 95% of the time. Before Elon, it was like 50%. Yeah, Twitter, the old Twitter actually did push back on a lot of takedown requests. So, if just by comparison, he's way worse for free speech. Yeah. We are now. Twitter ha On Twitter, I can post tits, and nobody will say anything. You can post porn on Twitter. I could, for example, tweet out a picture of Hunger FF's giant prolapse dildo, which I did do, by the way. It is on Twitter right now. Oh, you guys should, I forgot to talk about that. <laughs> Pro uh, Hunger sent us his prolapse, uh, mm -hmm. dildo. Sure did. You guys can see it on Twitter. It's pretty wild. There's two sizes, too. The small one's really big. <laughs> Holy has long served as the place where our national conversation incubates and develops. Twitter is not a partisan site. Everybody's allowed here. Bro, the owner literally, like, he's such a loser. Do I even need to say it? No. <laughs> also, he posted this, like, a week ago, and nothing since. Like, get your shit together, dude. I thought you were... This video, is the caption was, like, I'm back or something. It's like, <laughs> not. You just... Put a two-minute video in where you bitch about free speech together and dipped again. And we think that's... Oh, a Hunger is calling in on Wednesday to discuss his uh, triumph mm -hmm. in, the, in the space. People are saying... So some people are freaking out about the prolapse on Twitter. So apparently he wasn't able to dip his prolapse into like silicon, which is how you usually make something like that. But they did a whole ass... Like 3D digital scan of the prolapse. Mm -hmm. You know, like bullet time kind of shit. Mm. <laughs> so. Cool. Oh, somebody said of the prolapse. So this is why you were late. Ethan had to go to town before stream. <laughs> also, somebody said, Zach, do it for the show. Do what? Stick it up my ass? <laughs> yes. <laughs> And lubricate it with mayonnaise, if you would, please. Oh, Tasty. God. Awful. I'll let you know after the finger in my ass. We'll see where we go. From <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, fair enough. A good thing. And yet, for the most part, the news that you see analyzed on Twitter comes from media organizations that are themselves thinly disguised propaganda outlets. You see it on cable news. You talk about it on Twitter. The result may feel like a debate, but actually the gatekeepers are still in charge. We think that's a bad system. Who's we? we know exactly how it works, Who's and we? we're Elon. sick of it. Who's we? Starting soon, we'll be bringing a new Who's version we? of the show we've been doing for the last six and a half years to Twitter. We'll be bringing some other things, too, which we'll tell you about. But for now, we're just grateful to be here. Who's these we? Free speech. Bro, bro. <laughs> is the He's going to have a show on Twitter. Man, he, if he has a show on Twitter, then I'm the fucking Pope. It's not happening. Also... I don't know about you guys, maybe it's just an Android thing, but the video player on Twitter is like totally broken now. Like half the times I open a video, mm. it won't fucking play anything. So well, it's because it nobody like works freezes there. halfway through and it's glitchy as fuck. Yeah. So, good luck. <laughs> good luck, bud. <laughs> uh, wishing you all the best, my friend. Tucker Carlson. Tucker. The last great American. Tucker. 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 <laughs> this guy's such a fucking loser. Uh, yeah, so there it is. Um, I guess that's about it. That's about it. Anything else? No. Nah. Let's skedaddle. I want to go play some Zelda. Oh, I wanted to ask you guys how <laughs> how, how far have you guys gotten? Uh, this guy is the, still in the newbie zone, apparently, so I'm a little disappointed. Maybe in him. you're talking about bringing your Switch over, but you're not playing. You're muted. I played it myself, and... Uh, and then I wanted to play it on stream, so I restarted it. So, oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm just in like the fourth uh, shrine. Okay, so you're almost done with the newbie area. Yeah. It was pretty fun, actually. The starting area wasn't was kind of dope. Yeah, the controls were annoying me a little bit, but I'm getting more used to it. The graphics looked crazy bad when I was up there. I don't know if it's the lighting of the game up there, but once you go down to Hyrule, it's 
I don't know. I don't, I don't have a problem anymore. Okay. I'm excited to get out of the newbie area. Oh, you're still there too? Yeah. You're playing, but you've never played, right? I've played some of the others. Okay. Yeah. So I know kind of what to expect. Because I saw you complaining about... So yeah, you were having a problem with the game, weren't you? <laughs> um, I just I was just in this like hole, and I couldn't. You're stuck in a hole. Well, there was evidently a sword. <laughs> oh right. <laughs> I couldn't the, find uh, it. Oh, you're talking about the cave? I, Ian sent a video, and she was she was stuck in the starting room. I didn't, know I couldn't, that's oh. what I didn't realize she needed about. to pick the sword up off the ground. That's bad. Was... That that bodes badly. For yeah. I spent about ten minutes in there. <laughs> How far are you, Dan? I am decently far. Have you done the, the first big temple yet? Do you know what I'm talking about? Like the first like big dungeon? Uh, I guess not. No, I haven't. I've, I've just been like, I've been enjoying, I'm just... I won't say anything. It was, that was one of my biggest complaints about the last game is that the... The, the dungeons. The dungeons. Stuff. You remember they were like the big like yeah. walking things, which was yeah. cool. And it always had that component of like you have to get on it, but they were all like kind of the same thing and yeah. there wasn't that many of them. At least the first like temple, the experience of all Sick. of it was so you're, good, and you're the boss talking, was awesome. I know what you're talking about because I have the quest. Okay, but every time I go try to do it, I get so distracted. You get sidetracked, yeah. I find like a settlement or mm -hmm. uh, or a cave mm -hmm. or a temple. The cave system is awesome. Think, yeah, you've been exploring a lot of caves. Uh, you talking about the big? The big cave? No, there's like tons of caves. Yeah, everywhere. I mean, like there's just regular. Have you gone down yet, though? Uh, no, I haven't done it. I guess I haven't done any of that Ooh, stuff. Oh, you gotta go down. I know that there's a underworld. I know that, based on what? Like the whole overworld again. That's what I it's figured. So fucking big. It's this game crazy. is massive. There's like a sky map. Yep. There's mm -hmm. a surface map, which is as big as the first game. Yep. And then there's an underworld map. It's crazy. It's mm -hmm. I'm gonna be playing this game for a long fucking time. It's so fun. Yeah. It's so fun. It's cool how there's different ways to beat different, you know, levels. Like I'm so used to Zelda. There's one set way of beating a puzzle, but in this one, there's so many different ways to beat. That's the what makes it so good. Yeah. It's it, like there's nothing like it. Mm -hmm. And everything is so intuitive. Like there's just been so many times that I'd be like. In any other game, you would assume that the game is somehow going to have an invisible wall or something to keep you on the rail. There is like, nothing. Nothing. It's just like whatever you can think of a way to solve this, you can do it. And, and then with all the engines and shit, it's going to get so crazy. But for me, I always pump my stamina because when you have tons of stamina, you can. The world is your oyster. I, I started doing the the hearts at first, and then I remembered, and I was like, I, I don't. I need to get mine. I went. Green I think I went like here. five stamina, and then start got a couple hearts. Go. But yeah. it's all about the stamina, dude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Here's Sam uh, in the starting area. Oh, we have the video. Yeah, I got the vid. Got the receipts. Don't claim me, Nintendo. All right, get out of this room. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, poor Sam. The tutorial's over now. <laughs> Dude, the tutorial's kicking your ass. <laughs> like, this is so not, I didn't even we know. We can leave the, the room anytime. Leave the room, I don't have a sword. I can't break the little things. Whenever you're ready. Did I just fall into a cocoon? Just whenever you're ready, just head out of the room. Right there, How right there, standing on the sword. Room. Wait, where was it? Sword. Just, just it, a it second just prompted, ago. yeah. Oh, it said pit examine. Like, yep. See, there it is. Right there! <laughs> I have no sword. I'm naked. Poor Sam. You wait, made wait, it, wait. She, she figures it out. Oh, you do. You gotta give the happy <laughs> resolution. I right. have not fit. I can't slide. How about you pick up the sword on the ground? Oh my god, I did not see this sword at all. Uh oh. I did not see this sword at all. <laughs> I've been there. We did it. I've been there. Sword Beautiful. was not there. Sometimes you get stuck on the silliest stuff, you know, I've been there. Well, it was so dark, I was trying to climb out. I yeah. was climbing up the wall in that cave for like 10 minutes. <laughs> I thought that was the way. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Were you high at the time? No. Oh, okay. No, she doesn't. <laughs> you don't smoke, you don't, right? You don't fuck with no. that. No. Only Sonic. Sonic ruined you. That, yeah, the incident. Um, yeah, the more I play it, the more I like it. And there's a ton of stamina checks, Dan, so... 
for sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here's a Keep pumping here, the stand. I'm gonna do a little thing. When I I pumped my stamina so I could glide to the fo floating castle. Mm -hmm. Have you done that yet? The main hi, like Hyrule Castle or yeah, the other Hi giant one? No, Hyrule Castle. Uh, the story took me there at one point, but no, I haven't like thoroughly. Dude, you climb to the top and there's insane fucking loot. Oh, like end game loot. Oh, that makes sense. I'm fully stacked. Yeah, last night I was uh, I was trying to unlock all the map, so I was just like running around. Oh, you're just all charging over around. I was yeah, because I finished that first temple and I figured now I want to just like, explore for a while. So yeah, I think I've only got like two of the platforms. So I just I've really been putzing around, you know. Mm-hmm. I've tried to get Lena into Zelda so many times and never works out. It ends up me just like screaming. Press fucking A, A, <laughs> A. Like, I thought Lena a? was pretty good at uh, games. Or is she uh, not? No, no like she's, not she's the new three. to it. Okay, fair. Yeah. It's tough. It's it is mm -hmm. it's tough. You know. Well, there it is. Zelda. There it is. Fucking love it. Let's go play. Like, Ian, get are you here. playing? Nah, I'm not, I, I haven't started it yet. Oh, so Sam is just. Uh, Sam, I, I like watching uh, Sam try to play it. <laughs> <laughs> But I haven't tried it. I've never played many Zelda games. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, it's so nice to watch. I like watching Nintendo games. Like, other people play them. It's very zen. I'm very chill. Mm. It is a very zen game. The game is very beautiful. Yeah. Um, it's amazing, though, because you look back at the first game, and a lot of people say, this just feels like uh, an expansion pack, not a new game. But they, So what they took, this vast world, Populate it with all kinds of cool shit, and then they added way more. So you have the first game, the like the scale of the first game, and then like doubled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then just kind of like built Minecraft into the game on top of everything. I love <laughs> you the know? building aspect. Yeah, I it's love crazy. It. It's so fun. It's so satisfying. Like when you, I've killed a few mini bosses that drop like mm -hmm. special items that you can fuse to your weapons. Right. Yeah. Like I killed this uh, this one of these big rock bosses in a cave that had like glowing rocks, and he dropped this big ass glowing rock that I attached to the weapon. It's like fucking sick, Let's dude. Fucking go, it's dude. crazy how they're able to like change that series with every game and like innovate it in mm -hmm. like, an interesting way. It really is impressive. Absolutely, because it's the same story every damn time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Got to fix that sword every fucking game. When I saw him walking with, with Zelda in the cave at the very beginning, I was like, she's about to fucking get kidnapped. <laughs> Called it. There's no chance she's not kidnapped right now. <laughs> they made Link shorter in this one. He's a short king. I didn't notice that. My toxic masculinity doesn't like it. Mm, He's no, nimble. Okay. He's a cr rock climber. You know, you got to keep it light. Mm-hmm. Tell you what. Got to keep it light, boy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you turn in those Kodoroko seeds? Sure. Have you seen all of the videos of people becoming obsessed with torturing those guys? <laughs> Wait, no. In, like, various ways? Oh. You, where are those, you seeing this stuff? I want to watch those. <laughs> I'll send it to you after the show. I, I forget where I saw it. But, yeah, it, there's, like, these little, these cute little... Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, leaf Coke guys. Root. Leaf guys, and and they're wearing a big backpack, and he can't even walk, and he needs help or whatever. Those, yeah, love. And they're that. like very cute and innocent, and so of course, because you can build shit in this game, they're just like these torture device <laughs> where it's just like blasting it with fucking <laughs> flamethrowers from like twenty directions, <laughs> and, like, just, as much like uh, pain as they can inflict on them as possible. Poor guy. It's very funny. You know, poor I was guy. just thinking, it was just an idea I'm just throwing out there, but. You know, we love the the PowerPoints from Olivia, the drama ones. I was thinking it'd be funny if we did like a fucking nerdy one mm. about like Zelda or some shit like that. I don't know if people would be into that. There, there's my passion. I want Olivia to do the nerdy one. That's what I was oh. thinking too. It would be, it'd be funny. Make Olivia play <laughs> yeah. Zelda for a week and oh, then report the back to her Link, Zelda, Ganondorf. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the drama. Yeah, let's talk about the drama that exists in the in the, in in the relationships in Zelda. Bro, it's yeah. hundreds of years of tea. It's a lot. Oh, thousands, wow. bro. Thousands. thousands, right? Thousands, yeah. Okay, I'll get to Zelda work. went. She went back like what? Like yeah. 3, could you please years. explain? And there's, Zelda's a person. Right. The princess. Zelda, 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 you Zelda is a person. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Wait, she's a princess. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure you cover Some the okay. the three branching alternate queen. timelines as well. Yes. Uh, if you could make sure to of include course. that. It's pretty dense. But I'll tell you what. The way that the gliding works when mm. you launch up is so, so fun. Much fun. Wow. It's so fun. It sounds boring. 
<laughs> but it is so I fun. I like that you guys like it, obviously. Mm -hmm. It is so fun. Because I was wondering, how are they going to prove the towers where you could jump off and fly wherever? This is better. Right. Yeah, definitely. And if you have a ton of stamina, you can literally, like, fly mm -hmm. forever. You know what I really like? It's kind of stupid, but when you jump in water and it splashes like that and it hits the camera. It's like, very it's, satisfying. It yeah, satisfying. I didn't even notice Sound that. Sound design yeah. and all of that. I'm at the uh, Windy Bird City to do that part of the quest. Okay, so you're... You'll do the temple that I was talking about tonight, most likely. I just decided that, okay, I'm going to do a quest now. It's worth, it's worth doing. I've, it's I've crushed cool. a lot of temples. Someone in chat said, temples. wait, Zelda's a girl? So I'm yeah. saying, you need a PowerPoint. Same. Zelda's the princess. Link is the warrior who's always trying to save Zelda. What is the Mario copycat? Are there like activities kind of. to do? Like, can oh, I do tons so activities. many activities? I can do something fun. You can 100%. ride horses. You can glide. There's mini games, probably. I just got okay, to a whole maybe. town that uh, that is the um, the fashion center of the world. And, oh my gosh! Yeah, and uh, and there's a esteemed designer, like the uh, the Chanel of this world or whatever, and she's sending me on a whole quest. Oh my gosh! Yeah, mm. I'm telling you. Gucci? <laughs> yeah, I think this is going to take me months to beat this game. Yeah, I just, same. I love it. All right, well, that's it, guys. Uh, that's it. Have a great evening. Thank you, everybody. It's been such a fun time being here on this wonderful Monday, now evening. Uh, members, uh, join me tomorrow for a members-only live stream featuring yours truly. Who knows? Maybe you guys will learn Ela's number tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> True. You never know. You never know. What bump? Numbers. Mm -hmm. And uh, remember, members get to watch our crew reaction to the Zach Lore video. So, uh, and remember, Ian Lore enthusiasts, please post your clips. I've seen a lot of good ones popping up on the subreddit for our next clip. Lore video. For the clip. <laughs> yep. Anyway, guys, have a great night. We'll see everybody else on Wednesday for our regular uh, episode. Love you guys. Love you guys. Love you guys. Right.